right, guys. So we are now ready to rock and roll. Look at our amazing, beautiful cast members down here. Yes. I'm super, super excited. They're going to go ahead and introduce themselves, where you can find them, who they are, and what character they're going to be playing tonight. Uh, so please take it away. Whoever wants to take it, rock, paper, scissors, your choice. Uh, or if you want, I can pick the first person. It's up to you guys. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm LB Hackamup. You can find me at LB Hackamup on all of my socials, except for the Twitch and the um, YouTube channel where we are Hack Recklessly. I stream uh, a lot, so if you want to know what I'm doing, check out my um, all my stuff for uh, live updates. Uh, we stream TTRPGs, horror games, and all that fun stuff. I stream with Ren, who is that way. No, that way, this right time. Here. That way, well, That yes. way. No, you were right the first <laughs> that, time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's usually over here for me, so I don't... This is weird. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's me. That's where you can find all my stuff. Hi, I'm Ren Reckless. Uh, you can find me at Ren Reckless on most things, except for the YouTube and the uh, Twitch, where it is Hack Recklessly. And, I mean, she just said everything that we do, so I don't think I need to re-say it, but that's where you can find me. Oh, I am Run DMG. Uh, I make memes on pretty much every single platform that exists. Uh, big, do a lot of stuff on TikTok, do a lot of stuff on Instagram. Also running a charity drive right now, all January long, raising money for Doctors Without Borders. Um, there's more, there might be information somewhere about it here. Um, but yeah, we're up to, I'm going to open it up real quick. 10, we're up 000? to 11. Or 11 we're over 10,000. Nice. We're $11,535 yes. so far. We're doing the whole month of January. We're a little ways over halfway and we have raised way more than I thought we would. So yes. if you, uh, and there's also just a ton of amazing awards on there. We have tabletop RPGs. We have um, like, 3D printed dice towers. We have free run, like professionally GM'd games. We have yes. gift cards to start playing uh, dot games. A bunch of stuff on there. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Cujo of Cujo Plays Games. Uh, follow me on all socials at Cujo Plays Games. Uh, that is where I, I, I am on the Twitch and the YouTube. Uh, also follow at Crit Hit Chronicles, uh, a new TTRPG show on Saturdays throughout the year. Um, that is where my TTRPG stuff is. Uh, but yeah, you'll find me on TikTok, on Instagram, on the Twitter, and, and the Facebook, if for whatever reason, if you want to find me on there, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and start off where the camera starts out in an aerial sky view what seems like forest in a, call fall, in a cold fall night in a mountainous region of Virginia. The camera then zooms in on a settlement towards a garage, and then you hear what sounds like a whisper in a nervous voice saying, Hurry up! Better get out of here! Then you hear some keys jingle, and the sound of an ignition starting. Two car slow door slams, and then tires seem to grab what feels like gravel and dirt on the floor and the truck takes off the camera follows the truck into the distance now you see our red tail lights of a truck as they turn blurry then the camera pans back to the garage and all you can hear is if someone was like choking on water and then moments later, a scream of pain. And then the camera fades to black. As the camera comes back from the fade, you hear muffles and things start to get a little clearer as the camera gets closer and you hear a gentleman talking, saying, They took weeks full of food and rations and some gas and car. How are we going to go survive now with all that food gone? You hear another woman say, you know what's out there? We can't just go after them. There are walkers. God only knows what else. Then the camera turns to the second command, a gentleman named Gordon. Gordon, describe yourself. <laughs> Gordon, 
I want you to just close your eyes for a moment. I want you to imagine Ted Cruz. And I know that's a you could be that could be tra that could be traumatic. I'm sorry. But we, we had the content warning for. Imagine Ted Cruz. But imagine he was one attractive, two had an actual jawline, three had gray hair and was actually and four tall. Um, and that's that's what you get with Gordon Jordan. He is even in the apocalypse still like he's wearing his best like Armani <laughs> rags basically at this point with like a tie and everything. He's holding on to what little bit of station he had in the previous world as hard as he can. So he's got, you know, these um, he's wearing as, as white of a shirt as you've probably seen in a long time. He's got a nice thick red tie, even though mine's very skinny, um, wearing kind of dress pants that are all torn up. He's got like a bunch of like belts and holsters on him all over the place. Um, he, he looks like a very interesting mix of individuals. All right. Uh, so, Gordon, you turn to your left and you see this five foot five kind of farmer's daughter with red hair, thick southern accent. And you could tell that this lady really uh, isn't afraid to get her hands dirty. And uh, she asks you. You got the group ready from last night. The ones that I woke you up in the middle of the night for. You know, the, those people, they took a lot of rations and foods. We need to get them back. Uh, of course, I have went out of my way. I've got the very best the camp has to offer, and we will strike with great fury at the offenders of this trespass. Uh, yeah, that's that's good to hear, dear. That's good to hear, you know. Bless your heart. But people are a resource, you know, and it's it's us versus the dead out there, and the dead outnumber us, so we, we need all the help we can get. So we're going to go ahead and take a little flashback and journey to last night. Um, so... Last night, uh, Gordon, it is probably 2 a.m. in the morning. This is this is kind of a memory. Um, and all of a sudden, you hear a door slam. Okay. Gun from under the pillow. There's guns everywhere in his room, even though they may not work. <laughs> <laughs> so you you hear you hear the door swing open loud as heck, and uh Three people stand in your room. What do you do? <laughs> Start blasting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. What you doing there, Sonny? It's us. It's Melissa, John, and oh. Jacob. What the oh. hell is wrong with you, Sonny? My apologies. It's late at night. You are in my room. I, the right to bear arms, so and so, such and forth. Dude, where the hell are these people? Who are supposed to be on watch tonight? What? what who people? Who, I, I'm not in charge of on watch. I don't. You, I don't have no. I don't, I don't know what you you're definitely mean. Am are I in charge? charge. You definitely are in charge of watch. And you take a. You go ahead and look at the piece of paper, and it writes on that piece of paper. You see two names: Matthew and Rebecca. Oh, I guess I am in charge of, of that. Uh, <laughs> Matthew and Rebecca. Are, are they off their posts? They are, they are nowhere to be found, honey. They took the food, supplies, and medicine, and our truck, along with two weeks of gas. Oh, so not only were they not on post, they absconded with our resources. Interesting. Yeah, Did they get leave your any... shit together, Gordon. What the fuck's wrong with you? Wait, how am I? No, excuse you, me. You need to make sure that these, this is your group, okay, honey? This is your group. You brought these people here. I like to think we're all part of the same group. If no, I'm no, no, we're all no. Here. We're all in it together. No, screw that, honey. This is this is my group and your group. You, I brought you in here. You better make sure that you got your people in line. Who the hell do you think taking our supplies and they left us? They left us here to die with no food. We barely have food enough for the 50 people that we have here. Well, I mean, I... I, I just want to say I want to distance myself from you saying it's my group again. It's 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 our group. Uh, Rebecca and them they were part of our group. So I just want to you know put some distance between myself and that. But I will get on this because I am a team player. You better because if not, this is your ass and you're gonna be out there in the streets with everybody else. All right. So get your shit together and get that group together because we need a group of people to go find them because that shit is over two weeks worth of food. Two weeks. I know just the team. 
And as that, as he says that, it fades back to black and goes right into the present again. And uh, the group of people are now surrounding you guys. And uh, go ahead and describe yourselves. Uh, LB, Cujo, and Ren. <laughs> Stacy is uh, about five, six, five, seven. Uh, she has uh, curly brown red hair uh, that's been pulled back. She's tanned, uh, has a scar on her right shoulder. Um, she's very um, meagerly dressed, uh, just a just a tank top and a flannel pullover. Um, she's got like jeans on. Her arms are crossed. She's standing uh, next to another gentleman who will be described shortly uh and she's kind of not leaning into him physically but like towards him and uh looking at the situation at hand uh standing uh close to stacy is simon holler uh more of a lanky gentleman uh he's got uh short dirty blonde hair um He's he clearly just sort of threw on whatever clothes he had available, which in this case is a white button down and a red hoodie. Um, he's a little pensive, uh, a little tense. It, it, he doesn't look like he slept too well the night before, um, but he stands next to Stacy. Awesome, awesome. So as the group huddles around, we're going to assume that you guys have already gotten information from Jordan, uh, excuse me, Gordon, and uh, <laughs> already messed up. I said I was going to do it. All right, Gordon's already uh, giving you guys the information on what you guys need to do, and you all are going to be heading out as a group uh, into uh, the wilderness and try to track them down. So as you guys are walking out of the Haven, um, by the way, what's the name of your guys' location? Oh, like our, like our yeah, homestead you're safe. or whatever you're call it. Yeah. The your North homestead. Wolf Garage. Mm-hmm. North Wolf Garage. All right. All right. That's his original name. It's the best name out there. All right. There was this Twitch the stream I saw one time. It went by North Wolf. I just figured it was <laughs> the best. All right. Um, so as you guys are walking out, um, you do not take the other car. Um, so the other car is going to stay behind, but you are going to track them on foot. So it's been a day or two. But before that, you hear Melissa say uh, in the background, again, she's the leader. She goes, take care now. Hope you guys find the, the people as she waves and closes the gate behind her. Um, so... We're going to now do a little bit of a time jump. A couple days have passed. You guys have managed to track the truck. um, And it's about late fall right now. And you've noticed that there are dirt tracks and dirt roads, muddy. Um, It's easy to see that the marks made by tires after a long day of traveling. You bedded down uh, far up into the mountains in the middle of the forest where you woke up this morning. And uh, one of you scouted the surrounding area with your binoculars. About 800 meters down the road, an orange tent is tucked under a railroad bridge. Uh, You seem to recognize this tent, uh, but you can't see the pickup truck that they took. So you keep passing around the binoculars to one another, and you discuss what to do. Uh, Jordan, you should probably, excuse me, Gordon, you should probably flip the binoculars to the other side. I know how to use binoculars, young man. You guys should be able to see stuff now. (laughs) Yes. I can see stuff. Now, the tent is very small, but I would recognize it anywhere. It's one of ours. Yeah, no, an orange tent out in the wasteland, I'm sure that specific one is definitely, definitely art. Well, that's a great point. (laughs) Uh, Do we recognize anything on the tent that maybe mark it, that would mark it as ours? From this distance, you do not see any distinctions of what could be made on the tent. However, Mm. uh, movement in this game is not like D&D. You don't have any movement restrictions. So as long as it makes sense, you can go ahead and move your characters closer. Well, at the very least, we should get a little closer. That way we'll know for sure if it's one of ours. This could be this could be the break in the case we've been waiting for. Yeah, uh, we still need to talk about what we're going to do when we find them. I thought it was very obvious. What what, what is obvious? (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. 
Well, yeah, they stole from us. I feel like it's only natural that they'd be punished in a very equitable way, and death seems very fair in this sense. They they cursed a whole encampment of 50 people to die. It's only fair that they should die in recompense. That, the ease that, with which you have said those words. Yeah, now that's not really for us to decide. Isn't that a group decision? Like, the whole camp should be part of that? I, I thought, I mean... Democracy, I talk, dumbass? I, democracy, let's be honest here, this is more of a... I mean, I'm not, a, I'm second in command, but it's more of a dictatorship, if we're being honest. And do, we can bring it up. You know what? I'll ask, after we kill them, I'll ask uh, the leader and see if that was okay or not. Oh my God. Oh God. Why don't we take a vote? <sighs> like I said, it's more of a, more of a dictatorship in this Is current it? point. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could just leave you and then you could be your dictator of yourself. Okay, oh, I mean, I not, guess. Let's uh, get a little hasty. Okay. Okay. Let's Everybody's just... free to do as they wish as he cocks his, like, <laughs> M16. All right, all right. I, can you at least put the safety on at first? Oh, I took the safety off a long time ago. Yeah. I'm not normally one for, like, great communication, as everyone here knows. Um, but maybe we should try talking to them first before we just go and shoot people. Well, no, 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 no. I wasn't going to say we just shoot them. We figure out yeah. why they did it, all that other things. And then, yeah. like, what are we going to do? Drag them back against their will? That's honestly, I think, more evil than the murdering mm -hmm. itself. Okay, I mean, but let's could also. Let's just leave them out here to die. And just take Yeah, back shooting. And... Just seems guns. like what I wanted, but with more steps. Yes, but then just leaving him here to die them. versus. Well, you, and you're not attention. shooting him. Yeah. Oh, my God. But it makes so much noise. <laughs> yeah, remember how. The zombies are attracted to loud noises. Oh, I'm aware. We'll be long gone. Anyway, we should get closer. We should figure out if they are, in fact, our culprits. Yeah. Agreed. All right. So All right. we're going to sneak forward and uh, who's going to take point? There's the, that rock up ahead. I can I can try and get a little closer. Okay. okay. Just Where's, be Which rock are you going? For? Yeah. Uh, I'd be going towards this one. Okay, go ahead. I'll sneak uh, up can I roll a stealth just to be on the safe side? You can, and the first roll of the night is for a stealth roll. Go ahead and go for it. So Dude, for, oh, yeah. for those who are just uh, watching for the very first time, uh, they have character sheets and the number that is next to their skill, designated skill or talent or attribute will determine how many of those rolls are. Um, and it looks like you did not succeed in your stealth roll, um, but you did not get any bad rolls. So we're going to go ahead and say that you went ahead and moved as close as possible. Describe how you went there, but you didn't really do it very gracefully. I would probably have started shuffling closer towards the rock and like waved people to like calm down and basically glared at Gordon as he's holding his gun um, but in doing so wasn't quite paying attention like probably tripped over like a tree root or something like that and made a little bit of extra noise as I got into position alright perfect alright and so from that distance Cujo you can see a little bit distinguishing markers you can also see from, uh, from there there seems to be a tear at the top of the tent how big of a tear are we talking I would say it goes across halfway through the tent. So it's a pretty big tear. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to sneak back uh, right about here and uh, relay that information. Um, there's a tear about halfway through the tent on the top. Um, it does look like it could be ours. Well, maybe okay. we can approach quietly and see if anybody's still inside. Are you guys going to go approach the tent? Yeah. Everybody yep. make a yeah. stealth check. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay further in the back because I'm more of the ranged person. Okay. As far as marching order goes. So who's who's gonna line it up for me? Who's gonna be in the front? Who's gonna be in the middle? Who's gonna be in the back? I'll be in the front. I'm oh. the leader. All right. So go ahead and move closer to the tent. How? Where are you guys gonna go? I'll go in the middle. Let Gunzo McGee lead the way. All right. All successfully rolled uh, a stealth check, so you should be fine to get close to the tent. 
Mm -hmm. I'll kind of like peek, get up to it, peek inside the hole, see if there's anything going on in there. Sure. So with you peeking inside, or before you even peek inside, you start hearing this. Oh, wait. I'm going to, like, put my thing up and, like, take a couple steps back. Okay. Be like... Did you peek inside, or did you not peek inside? Oh, if, if I had heard... Like, if I had heard popping off that loud... I probably stopped and then, like, checked to see if everybody else heard it. Okay. So you keep hearing the sounds. <laughs> um, as you get closer, you can investigate if you want the tent. You guys have all successfully rolled a stealth check, so you should be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of, like, look behind me. Does, does it seem like everybody else is still down to keep going forward, or are they, like... No. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I... As much as Gordon may absolutely drive Simon nuts, he he would still be there to protect his back. So... Yeah, Simon's with <laughs> it's you. It's so grudgingly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh... I might say we we should draw them out. Draw it out. See what we're mm. dealing with. Okay. Yeah. Just Who's violently. gonna open it? I also had a gesture to my sledgehammer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I like look around and I pick up like a rock. Okay. Just like up the ground be like, Let's like try to be quiet, like back up. And then uh, with <laughs> I, I have a knife. Simon's gonna look between Stacy and Gordon, just be like, "Enough! Draw it out. Take care of it." I'm gonna like, I'll say I'll back up just a little bit, just so it's like not right next to the tent. Uh, mm -hmm. Get kind of, we'll get like a little bit of almost like a firing line or whatever, and then I'll take the rock and like toss it over here okay so with that uh you can still hear uh the sounds but you start seeing movement in the tent and what you're seeing here is just kind of like imagine a hen pressing against a tent and the fabric of the tent and it's just pushing up against it but it can't really get out so it's just rumbling around and all you hear are sounds as it's like literally trying to get out but can't get out. You said it's pushing its head up against it? Its head, yeah. Can, it I, like can I shoot it? <laughs> you can. Well, go ahead, Ren. I, no, if you want to shoot it, that's fine. I was like, there's a bunch of rocks. We can just... Just start throwing rocks at it. <laughs> you can. You can start but throwing you rocks. Shoot it. Uh, you can uh, yeah. shoot it. It's up to you what you guys want to do. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll look to Stacy because I could see you've got your bow like ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to gesture with my sledgehammer in a way that's like you first mm -hmm. and then I'll back up. Mm -hmm. Whatever, if it stays, if it stays standing. So, yeah. did, so uh, just to not. clarify, are you guys trying to shoot or are you trying to hit it with a sledgehammer? I'm gonna shoot it first. Okay, so you shooting it with what? With a bow. Okay, with a, Have bow. a bow. Hey yo! Ooh, hey yo! That's a great success. So, who's opening up the tent? I don't think any I'm of us shooting it open. through the tent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, the, if it's if it kind of the push tent? up against okay. it. Okay. Yeah. So with the two successes, I'll go ahead and let this happen. So you're gonna okay. go ahead, go ahead and describe to me what what you do. Okay. So Stacy's kind of in the back. She's gonna shift over to the side just so nobody else is like in line of fire, just in case. You know, gun safety, bow safety. Uh, she pulls it back. You know, it goes to her cheek. Her aim as it's sort of moving through this fabric. Uh, you can like. There's, I'm sure, just like gore on the inside as it's doing this. Uh, and she just kind of takes a breath 
and that releases, and the arrow plunges through the, uh, like, kind of rips it a little bit as it goes into it. You go ahead and hit it in the head, and the sound stops. The sound has now f- diminished, but now you have an arrow, and you see the, r- like, Half of the arrow is stuck inside, the other half is stuck on the outside, so you can still see the arrow on the outside. Uh, But you start seeing through a hole some blood that starts oozing out from where the arrow has been coming in. And uh, seems like a body is now resting up against the tent. So what do you guys do? Uh, Simon is going to take a second and turn away from the tent and uh, feel his anxiety attack kind of triggered just a little bit. Simon, get it together. <sighs> Stacy, can, can you give me two seconds? No, we, we really don't really have two seconds here, okay? Yeah, well, you're, we don't know I, where we're going to have to figure it out, are. okay? Give, just please. Gordon's over there just like flicking the arrow. <laughs> just, <laughs> just doing a quick check to see if it's still like alive. Oh, it, it just... I was going to say Svetlana goes up and kicks it. Just... <laughs> yeah, we're, you're, I'm flicking the arrow, you're kicking yes, it. Like, I'm... I think it's, I think we're it's bickering down. in the background. <laughs> yeah. You always do this. Does <laughs> anybody want to go inside the tent? I don't know about inside, but I will look in first. <laughs> okay, so remember, there's a gash, uh, gash on the top, so you can look through there. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the gun and kind of like lean it in and see if there's anything uh, that's visible. Okay, so as you do that and you lean in, there is a hole with the gun, so you see the muzzle pointing through the hole, and now what you see on the inside looks like a bloodbath. It, it's just blood and guts everywhere. Um, you see remnants and pieces of hair and fabric all over the place. You see two sleeping bags and a comb. And that comb seems a little familiar to you because it looks it looks like something you've seen before. I've seen this comb. Does anybody does if I can I see the zombie inside? You can. So the the walker inside he has a dislocated jaw and when you look at him he's got a distinguishing feature on his forehead it looks it looks like a v because you can't really make out what the other part is because of the arrow that got shot directly between his eyes and now there's blood kind of smeared all over it and his teeth are open his guts are kind of spilled there is a knife embedded inside of him um and he's just resting up against the uh the uh, orange tent now just does he blood re- all does over he res- the place. does he resemble one of the deserters he does not mm. i will check out oh go ahead i was gonna say svetlana comes up and says can you see any of our supplies uh i don't i see some sleeping bags i do see a quite a familiar comb i don't know if that's ours a comb? uh doesn't look like a, one of our deserters, though. He's got, like, a bit of a V on the forehead. That doesn't sound like one of ours. Hmm. Like a vampire V? Like Dracula? Well, well, I I think it's more like a a birthmark or something, less of a widow's Hmm. peak, if that's... Do me a favor. I I can't pronounce. Lana. Lana and Zeflana Zef- 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 and Gordon, go ahead and roll a scout check for me, please. Ooh, I'm notoriously bad at those. Damn. Nice. nice. All right, good. Two successes. That's amazing. So uh, when you guys look in, you um, are able to identify the comb and something else that's in there. Um, and it kind of points you to the direction of a neighboring town. Uh, It looks like a map and there's like a circle around that map. Um, So what you guys do with it is up to you. The comb, it's memorable to me. Like, do I recognize it as maybe belonging to one of the deserters? Yes. the, The two deserters are Rebecca and... And Matthew. I believe this is Matthew's comb. I know it. He has that long blonde hair. Look, look. But they are not in there? They are not in there. This 
The suspicious third is here, and I, I do not uh, recognize him. Um, as far as the zombies, sorry, walkers go, as someone who does not know a lot about the lore, how how long does it take them to turn? Like, so this from, is about four years into the apocalypse. Um, mm-hmm. So it can take anywhere. No knowledge. It's not. It, mm-hmm. There's no scientists or anything like that around. So they. This is just from experience, from characters and lore. Um, it could take anywhere between a couple of minutes to a couple of days to a couple of hours. Mm. So it can range. Okay. But this body looks fresh. So uh, this is this is great. And all where, where where's the car? Right, and all the supplies. Yeah. Is there any like obvious tracks here? There are. So, since you guys both successfully rolled a scout check, um, you can determine that there are what looks like tire tracks that goes in this direction. Referencing the map that we found, does it seem like those might line up? Yes. Can we just revisit the killing them part? I'm sorry. Like, that's still... It's still on the brain. Do Mm -hmm. we have to... Is that really... Are we all really okay with this? But if we didn't Let's kill it, then it probably no, no, no. somebody else. Killing the people, not the oh, zombie. the people. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Listen, I think we all got off on the wrong foot. I, 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 you know, we're not going to summarily execute or anything like that. I think that was that that was rash. But I think, as this is very visible, if uh, I don't think they're going to part with our camp's goods willingly. And I think when it comes down to it, we need to have the inner strength to do what is necessary. As you guys are talking, Stacy, you start remembering yeah. something and we're going to take uh-huh. you into a flashback. Uh, so, <laughs> yes, as the wavy lines happen, envision this. There we go. Um, as you're remembering this, this this time you are now in the woods hunting for food uh with someone you recognize and it's rebecca and it's a foggy day usually it's usual for the virginia mountains uh and rebecca you know starts asking you some questions like Hey, how's it going? You know, it's just, it's not unusual. You guys, you know, are friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And she's just asking you, like, how are you doing? How are you doing, hon? I would be better if we were being quiet while we hunted. Oh, come on. Why you gotta be so mean all the time? Oh, I don't know. Because my life has been turned upside down by a zombie apocalypse. And I'm hunting for food instead of going to the grocery store and making myself some stroganoff for dinner. You know, How are you? I mean, I get it, but at least you got somebody to be with you. You know, it's it's been a couple of weeks since you've been here, and like, at least you're not out there by yourselves again. Yeah, you're right. Slight bump up on the whole apocalypse thing. <sighs> she rolls her eyes in disgust, kind of just trying to be friendly, and um, she asks how you and uh, Simon seem to be doing. We're just about as good as we've always been, you know? Sometimes we squabble. Usually, I mean, we it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, he's hes really cute, isn't he? You know, he's, he's really smart, too. Well, he's cute. Definitely cute. And taken, just uh, to be clear. No, no, I, I get it. I get it. But, like, you know, I just... I don't, I don't mean to be pry or anything, but like, you know, I, I hear you guys fight all the time, you know, and you guys have only been here mm-hmm. for like a couple of weeks and, you know, you should give him a break, you know, and he's just, he's just amazing. And I think he deserves, uh, you know, some respect. I'm just really appreciative of somebody who's known us for two weeks giving us relationship advice because like these are things that i didn't know and apparently there are things that i need to work on so thank you so much you know he just deserves somebody you know of like not your caliber like he deserves someone who's like super 
you know, smart and attentive to his needs. And like when like I compare somebody else to you, you know, I, yeah. I just I just feel like, you know, you just fall mm-hmm. short. You know, no, nobody's nobody's going to want you, you know, and desire like someone like a bitch like you. All right. So like, yeah. just chill out. Right. No, you're totally right. No one's ever going to want me. I'm never going to have a boyfriend or a house or anything like that, even though I already fucking had that for a long time. I don't really need your approval. So Uh, I don't know why you're telling me this. Like, you don't you don't need to be like that. All right. I'm just trying to be friendly and give some friendly advice. All right. So like that was you being friendly. Look, I mean, look, Look, I used to look, I used to be a high school teacher and you are on the same level as some of the freshmen. So I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about honey i am a plus material here okay don't yeah. don't honey me yeah. no sweetheart honey, it's just look, look i don't know what you school not. you're working at but it must have been an f school because your shit is stinking <laughs> all this shit up now nah, like this oh guy deserves so much better than you and like i can definitely make it better for him you know what? Why don't you go tell him that? I'm sure he'd love to hear it. It'd go super well for you. Oh, I de- honey, don't worry. And as as you guys are arguing, <laughs> your 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 voice levels start to ra- rise, <laughs> yeah. and um, a group of walkers appear Ooh. and surround you guys. And as you guys are being surrounded, you guys are taking care of business and stuff, so mm-hmm. you guys can handle your own and. Mm-hmm. Uh, there seems to be two walkers left. Rebecca then turns around and shoves the last walker in your face and oh. tells you to fuck off and runs uh-huh. away. And mm-hmm. as as the um, walker is now on top of you and you dealing with the other walker, you go ahead and take care of the last two and it fades to black. So we then come back to... Uh, the scene where you are now kind of like in the glaze because you're remembering mm-hmm. things uh, mm-hmm. and you have now Simon kind of looking at you worried along with um, with Gordon and Alana kind of staring at you kind of like snapping the, yep snapping their fingers hey, in front of you at me. I'm just you you, you went like thousand yard stare I'm just I'm making sorry, sure I'm just- you're having a moment I'm, I'm allowed to have a moment okay as you as you guys are arguing with one another uh you start hearing what sounds like walkers from the distance start to creep up and the level of threat now rises from one to two um as you guys are raising your voices and now drawing nearer some walkers so what do you guys are going to do this town seems promising and like starting to walk towards <laughs> So you guys go ahead and start walking towards, as you guys are walking towards that new town, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead into a flashback with Simon. So Simon is going to be walking and be thinking about this at the same time as he's walking. Uh, And it's the early, so this to give you a mindset is... um, it's it's the early 2000s uh simon and we see you kind of like in a dorm room almost an apart i would say more of an apartment studio right um you're sitting at your desk you know you're finishing up work and you're about to log on to a world-renowned mmrpg called world of elves because the other one we can't talk about okay so (laughs) it's a super popular game at the time um and they came out with a bunch of expansions um you can get it on pc and you call your best friend aaron so the phone rings and he picks up hey are we doing the raid tonight yeah what's up man how's it going Uh I'm good. I fucking work is 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 pretty soul draining. So I would love to lose myself and get some solid uh, progress on my character. Are you are you free? What are you up to? Yeah, man. I am so stoked, dude. Like I can't wait to to make sure that we uh, we we raid tonight. I'm gonna make a new character. Uh, there was this new elf character that I was working on last night. You know, I'm trying to get it to level 15, but we could talk about it a little bit later. But dude, man, I I, I want to hear about you. And that new girlfriend of yours, man, Stacy. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty cool so far. 
dude, dude, tell me about it. Like how, how has been, how have things been going? They're, uh, they're good. They're good. I, they're, I, they're good. What do, you, what do you mean they're good? It's like date four, man. Like you barely passed date one with anybody else. Yeah, I, I, I know. I know. It's what, fine. It's you, just. Come on, dude. There's, a there's like a, there's just a oh, grow back. Okay. All right. Come on. You got there's this. A little, there's a, there's a, there's a little bit of a personality clash, but you know, we're, we're working through it. And I, I realize that I, I need to, you know, put myself in those situations where I can grow. You know, why, why, why are you asking me? When was your last date? Uh, mine was like three weeks ago, dude. Like, you know, I, I don't know if that's gonna. Who cares about me? I'm talking about you, man. Like, I want to hear how things are going with this girl, man. Because, like, you were so excited. Last time we talked, you were like, man, this was amazing. This date, she's, I think she might be the one. And I just, I want to be a supportive friend here. So, like, I'm just trying to see, like, how things are going with you. And, like, I want to make sure that, you know, I could be here for you because, like, we've been best buds since, like, kindergarten, man. Like, I just want to make sure that things are going well and that we you know i could be there as a good friend for you i get it i i get it man it's there was a there was a little bit of a fight there was a little fight it was a nothing fight and you know i i don't do confrontation like at all <laughs> well, so yeah you know. but we we've been working on that right like dude I, you, you've been okay. awesome you pushing me into debates about fucking politics is not working on that, okay? Look, just because it, you love to be in the debate club and all that shit doesn't mean that I do. Uh, well, look, you know, it, it helps me develop a personality. And you have a great personality. Like, you know, like, th this. obviously this chick is into you, right? Like, she's obviously into you. You're on date four. Things are going well. Just, like, don't overthink things, man. Like, you do things amazingly. Like, how many times do I have to tell you, like, uh, you don't have to like overthink like are you gonna have pasta or are you gonna have chicken wings like you know it's not that serious well, but, but hold on but hold on but some people might be against chicken wings and might prefer a nice basic dinner dude, like dude, pasta like, you know and if i'm gonna put my best foot forward i want to make sure i pick the right one and i can't just ask see what because if i just ask you then, hear like, yourself all right maybe i overthink a little yeah, exactly. You you might want to tone it down a bit, dude. Like, I'm sure she's a wonderful girl, and like, you guys are gonna be amazing together. Like, there's nothing wrong. Like, y'all need to ch you need to chill out, man, and just chillax and relax, man. Take it easy. Well, I would love to do that while we fucking raid. So, all right, dude. Why are you making a new character? I thought because we were raiding with our ones we got right now. No, look, sometimes you just need a panda, all right? You need a panda to take you to the land of dynasties, all right? So, as as you guys continue, it's going to the scene's going to fade to black, but you're not done yet remembering things. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and allude a little bit towards the future about a year or two later and um you're over now Stacy's house and you hear a phone call uh, come through your cell phone or a phone a call is coming through your cell phone excuse me uh, sorry can we just put can we pause the movie for two seconds yes um, I'll, I'll step away from Stacy and answer the phone uh, hello hey hey you there okay yeah, I just answered the phone. What's going on? Why are you freaking out? D dude, dude, do you not hear what's going on? We're watching a movie, man. What are you talking? I'm not at, I'm not at home. Turn on the news, man. Turn on the news. Jesus. I'll walk back into the room. Stacy, Aaron's freaking out. He wants us to turn on the news. Oh, okay. Um, do you have to do the input thing? You would have to hit input, and then you have to go to channel three. Channel two? Oh, channel three. Okay, okay. Three, yeah. yeah. I wish things were labeled better. <laughs> Just switches okay. it over. I mean, they are. There's, it's fine. Uh, what do we see when we turn on the news? You start hearing some news broadcasts. Listen to news radio stations for updates. 
and the news broadcast starts coming through. You start seeing that there seems to be some People mayhem. Who are allowed to come out of hiding may be evacuated to unaffected areas oh within God. a few days. Aaron, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, man. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to go pick you up. Are you guys there yet? You're still at Stacy's house, right? Yeah, we're, we're here. What, what's okay? I just see chaos. What's, we got we got to go, buddy. We got to go. This is not this is no joke, man. We got to go. Things are getting crazy. Holy crap. There's there's gunfire, dude. Just hurry up and get your stuff together. What we got to go. We got oh, to okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We'll be we'll be ready to go. Just just get over here. I'm, I'm coming in right now. Chat? I'm coming in right now. I'm, I'm pulling up right now. You should hear the car right outside. Uh, I'll hang up the phone. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Figure out whatever you can. Where are we going? I don't know. He has a car. We just need to get the fuck out of here because apparently shit's gone to hell. We need to take anything? What do you mean? I, I, I don't know. Grab grab your the sweater, uh, your jacket. I don't know. Um, okay. Do, do, you, do you have a gun? You, you have a gun, right? No, I don't have a gun. Why would I have a gun? You were. I don't know. Maybe we haven't really had to talk about gun rights and stuff yet, but let's just like, like, grab what we can and then just go. Oh, what the fuck is happening? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to help um, Stacy collect whatever stuff she has. And you um, guys meet you guys meet Aaron downstairs, get in the car and uh, fade back to black. From the map that you guys collected, uh, Jordan or Gordon, excuse me, Gordon. Um, Gordon, you saw that you're getting closer to the map or to the, the town. What is your game plan? Great question. All right, all right. Let's. Before we get inside, we should, you know, have some form of strategy. I think one, we should definitely stick together. Uh, two, eyes out, open. You know, some of us looking forward, some of us looking behind us. Keep your ears tuned. Um, and let's, we'll look for tracks to see if we can find the car or anything like that. I, this is our only lead, so we need to keep our eyes peeled. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, sound advice. Good sounds job. good. Why well, you sound surprised that I had good? Uh, I'm, I'm a leader. I'm, I'm, I'm I know. Leader. We've just I've, been traveling yeah. together. Right. Your ideas before were not that good. Well, yeah, no, to be honest, we're kind of bottom of the barrel. They were just shoot. Well, I mean, if they were, I got a little excited. I thought they would be there. I thought we could go home. Sorry, that's on me. That's on that's me. Okay. okay. I'll be in the... I'll watch our six. Good. Right. Is there anything obvious to us, like, going on right well, now? Well, there's is definitely there a city or a town sign. And in the town sign, as you're getting closer, it uh, says welcome to, and then it looks like the letters are really de- kind of not taken care of because it's been a couple years. It's the apocalypse. You know, the sign looks a little worn down. But really big is this big red circle with a W on it. Um, and it's on the front welcome sign uh, as you approach it. Would we recognize that as having some form of meaning? No. Well, I think it does have a meaning. I think it's a W inside of a circle. Oh, very cool. Oh my god, you are so dumb. Very cute. So, I'll let that one pass. It's, it's okay. It's sometimes, you know, sometimes we all, we all whiff on one. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, I think... Maybe we get off the main road. We kind of try and stay in as much cover as possible. Oh, one thing. If we do come across people, maybe just let me do the talking and not argue. Just just general idea. So okay, go ahead and roll a scout argue. and a stealth check for all of you. All of you guys are succe- succeeding in stealthing. Oh. Awesome. Except. Awesome. No. <laughs> Except <Not to>. Lana. <laughs> Lana! <laughs> Lana! Hi. Can, can we push rolls in this You can system? push rolls. So that is actually the next you thing I was going to talk about. So there is a, oh. in this game, there is called um, push, push rolls, which you can do. You add an additional dice to your roll. It's called a stress die. But you also gain a stress for your character. Now, when stress is accumulated in this game, it makes you 
do bad things. So the more stress you accumulate, the worse the outcome can be for your roll. So yes, you get more dice, but you also accumulate stress. So you can push or you can accept that roll. It's up to you. So there is walkers in the area uh, and you start getting closer to this town. As you guys get closer and closer to this town, you start seeing buildings. Uh, some of those buildings have writings on it. One says wolves are here. Um, the other one is the other uh, kind of locations. You can't really make out details, but you can definitely tell that this city has been kind of overgrown with vegetation and there's a lot of like debris on the roads. You also see two cars in the middle of the road um, and there's other locations around and you guys can decide on what you want to do. If you guys want to stay together, split the party up. It's all up to you. It doesn't look like any of these cars are our truck, are they? They are not. Um, I'd say, yeah, let's let Gordon lead. I'll be in the middle. And then if you two want to stay in the back and cover our rear. Okay. What is okay. the plan? Yes, what is the plan? Search? In any of the... Where are we going? We can't just walk straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Do we see any... Any signs or anything that would lead us to believe there were people here recently? Uh, you do see graffiti on certain buildings that just says wolves are here. Uh, does this place look abandoned or does it look like can we hear or see like people out and about? There are no people out and about. That's not a good sign. Yeah. I think we should I mean should we go building by building and clear things or that is a thought yeah, maybe that's that's not a bad idea if they are here in this town they could be hiding out right now in one of these buildings so i okay. guess our only choice is to search one by one all right well, be careful of the ones that have wolves in them whatever that means i it's potential. I'm not going to make a big guess, but maybe it's a another survival group or walkers. So, All right. So, which building would you guys like to go in first? You can hold and click down on the location where you want it to go. I guess we're too close yeah. to this one and this one, right? Okay. So everybody so chose this, this one, one on our right, coming up the road, just on the yeah. right. So as you guys are approaching uh, this building, it is a residential building uh, and it's a two story building. And as you get closer, uh, go ahead and do a uh, scout check. That's three successes. Do you want all Very of us to make scout checks? Very awesome. Or just uh, those who are going in the building. Um, I think maybe we, should, we could cover the door, like stay, not go all the way in. Yeah. That okay. should stick together just in so case. So who's going yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going far. I'll go in. Okay. I'll go I'll in. I've got a gun. Okay. Just kidding. We're all going. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. So there's a two story building. When you go in, think of like a Victorian mansion. You know how large it is. Uh, Simon, since you rolled three successes, that's a critical success. Uh, you're going to go ahead and loot uh, in this location. And that's where you're going to find a bat. So you're going to go ahead and add that bat to your weapon stash um, as you right. found a uh, weapon in here. And uh, when you walk in, you think of like those grand Victorians where they have the spiraling staircase uh, and those stairs just kind of go all the way to the second floor. They have about three rooms up top with the bathroom. It's like in the mid 2000s type of era type of house. So it's not like an old Victorian house, but kind of those modern houses. It is. They have glass broken throughout the entire house. Uh, the floor is carpeted uh, with the exception of the grand entrance, uh, which is all tile. 
Uh, the staircase is all wood mahogany, uh, you know, and it's a very, it's very beautiful. It's a very beautiful home. You can tell, like, back in the day in the 2000s when it was brand new, it was absolutely gorgeous. But now it's just kind of overrun by vegetation on the outside, and it's got broken windows on the outside as well. Um, and you can kind of search the rooms if you choose to. If not, you can uh, kind of leave the area. There's nothing of a threat in this house. Since we're here, probably search around like a little bit to see if maybe there's some basic supplies or something like that. Sure. We've been traveling for a while. Okay. Uh, so the search that you you do, uh, Gordon, when you search the house, uh, which floor are you going to go? So there's a top floor and there's a uh, first floor, but then there's a door that you can go through. I'll probably do the first floor. Okay first floor you go ahead and search the first floor and didn't find anything of value okay okay anybody else i'll go up to the top floor and search around okay top floor so you search around the top floor and when you open one of the doors um you kind of smell this really strong stench um lana and it kind of reminds you of your past and you go ahead into your memory lock uh not necessarily like a flashback but you do remember certain things that occur so you kind of stand there for a second and remember bars remember conversations you remember you know grabbing um what seems to be like a toothbrush uh and things of that nature and these are just flashes of light that happens to you while you look through that and a a very uh distinct smell of metal and it's like it's kind of like this metal distinct smell and when you walk in to this room you see um kind of like a pool of blood on the floor you also see a person in the corner sitting uh on his rocker and on the walls it says i'm sorry huh? and it's written in blood is he is he dead do he I is know dead yet? he is okay. dead yes okay so um i don't necessarily want to call out loudly to the other people but like maybe signal them that i have found a dead body up here with a message on the wall okay what does everybody else do uh, I'll go up uh, after hearing Svetlana and see if, you know, there's anything else to, to see. Do they look like one of the people that we're looking for? It is not one of the people you are looking for. It seems to be a resident. Uh, you see some pictures on the um, cabinet and on the walls, and it looks very familiar and very similar to the person in those pictures. <clears throat> Let's, um, let's keep moving. Okay. Anybody else want to search the house? All right. Um, does anybody want a baseball bat? Do you not need one? I mean, I've got my sledgehammer, but I mean, I have no problem hanging on to it. I just figured I'd ask if anybody was partial to baseball. I got a knife or two. I'll take the baseball bat. Okay. So go ahead and add the baseball bat to your um, inventory, Lana. And we're going to go ahead and I'm assuming you guys are going to go ahead and move on to the next house. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want to go to doing it. this one? Or would yeah. you like to go across the street? That looks that looks like a business of some kind. I feel like that's a lot of open space could potentially lead to problems. Okay. So do we, we don't want to go through, sorry. I was typing things in. You pointed to the big one, right? Well, yeah, I was saying, you, which, 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 which house do you want to go ne- to next? I mean, I'm going go with this one. one. Go okay. One. Perfect. Everybody going in or are we staying outside? What's going on? Um, I can everybody in the club. Oh. Everybody in the club being t- <laughs> I can look out. I mean, on the outside. Sure. Keep watch. I got a baseball bat now, so it's not a shotgun, so it's quiet. Yeah. Okay. 
Perfect. All right, so all three of you are going inside? Sure. Yeah. Perfect. So who's going in first? Never I'll me. Go. Cujo, you're I'll going go in? First. All right. Yeah. So Cujo, go ahead and roll a stealth check. That's one. That is a success. Okay, perfect. So as you walk in, Cujo, and all three of you walk in, um, you start hearing some sounds. Um, what seems like coming from the back of the house and Lana uh, you are startled by a walker and it comes to attack you please roll a close combat Oh shit. Very nice. So as this as this uh, walker comes up to you, then I'm going to describe the walker. He's kind of missing an eye. He's got his jaws dislocated. His bowels are all uh, taken out. He's covered in disgusting filth. He smells like absolute trash when you don't take it out. Um, so like, you know, when you take out your trash and stuff, it's really, really bad. It smells absolutely horrific. So tell me how you take care of this walker. Okay. So, as this walker is walking towards Svetlana, um, because she's got, you know, close combat skills and stuff, she's gonna sweep its legs out from under it and then just go straight in for a head smash once it's on the ground. Nice. And as you as you go in for the head smash, the blood just splurts all over your shirt and your and guts just like literally like brain matter goes on the walls, but also onto your jacket and your shirt. So now you definitely have some uh, matter on you uh, and you end up going inside uh, not knowing what's going on inside. You end up going inside out of safety reasons because you mm-hmm. see more walkers coming your way. Okay. So, so uh, now all four of you are inside. And uh, Kujo, since you walked in and you had a success, you definitely hear the sounds towards the back of the house. Um, and... When you walk into this house, it's a, it was a f- one-story house. These, the house itself is gray on the outside. It's got a uh, kind of a greenish tint of, of a roof. The windows on it is actually pretty, pretty steady. There's no broken windows or anything like that, but you definitely can see ivy growing on the sides of the walls. When you walk inside, it's very dirty. Um, you have uh, kind of like a wood floor, but there's carpet there. To your left, you you see an open space in the living room and to your right uh, you have a walker that comes and attacks you uh, okay so, so this walker uh, comes and attacks you so roll a close combat okay definitely good with that no I'm not Ugh. All right, so you failed that close combat, uh, but uh, since uh, Stacy, I'm assuming, is behind you, because Simon and Stacy are close by to each other, uh, Stacy, uh, what do you do? Um, I am going to d- d- do the thing that I'm good at. I'm going to shoot it with a bow. It's close, close quarters, but it won't help. Yes. You're literally right Am I right helping him, them. or am I doing a, a, my own task? You're helping him. Okay, so I am, I'm taking the help action sort yes. of thing? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Um, then I will uh, take... Oh, let's see what else. I'm going to quickly string my bow over my shoulder and grab my shovel and try to... Put, I'm going to put the shovel between the head of the zombie... I'm so sorry, I've done. Between the head <laughs> of the zombie and Simon. Perfect. So, like, as a blocker. So we're going to go ahead as you're pushing up the shovel and stuff, it flashes back. And I know this is a really bad way to do it. But we're going to flash back to something in the past and take a 10 minute break. We're going to go into a very nice tranquil scene um, between two people, Simon and Stacy. Uh, this is Simon's 
uh, flashback. And Stacy, you kind of remember this flashback as well. Uh oh, there he goes. Damn camera! I was like, what happened to the camera? All right. Um, the setting is back in the early 2000s, before the apocalypse ever happened. Um, you guys are at dinner, and uh, you're ordering some food. Uh, it's a very nice restaurant. It's actually Stacy's favorite restaurant. Um, and uh, the waiter comes up to you, Simon, and, and says, uh, Good evening, sir. Uh, is this your first time here? Uh, yeah, e yes. <clears throat> yes, oh. it is. Oh, that's 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 wonderful. Uh, welcome, welcome in. And uh, uh, madam, is this is this your first time as well? No, no, I'm I'm here a lot, actually. Oh, okay, well, welcome back, madam. Uh, well, tonight's dinner is um, going to be a chef's menu or chef's uh, choice, which is a lobster, uh, and uh, the lobster is is fresh from Maine. It's beautiful. It's wonderful, uh, delicious. It's it's actually seared. Um, on the grill for uh, quite a while. It's, it's seasoned very well. It's got nice buttery crisp to it, uh, along with some pasta, uh, and it's kind of just drenched in that pasta there uh, with some uh, butter sauce as well. It's tossed in that. And uh, you guys, uh, I can bring over the Cabernet. Uh, you guys are wine drinkers? Um, I usually prefer white if you have a Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, yes, what do you we drink? Have, we have Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, I, I'm all, I am also a, a Sauvignon Blanc drinker. So, Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, sir. Uh, I I'll get you the best Sauvignon Blanc. Would you, have you? And the waiter kind of looks at you, Simon, and notices you're a little young, so he's kind of hesitant to ask for the ID, but notices that th this could be your first date and doesn't want to doesn't want to embarrass you. So he kind of just nods and understands and walks away and lets you be. I'll go ahead and uh, bring you guys some water and, and Sauvignon Blanc, sir. Sauvignon Blanc. I'll bring you some of that. Thank you so much. Thanks. And he'll walk <clears throat> away. Uh, so you come here often. The, the, I mean, not the pickup know. line, you know. If you, no, you know. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's you know, it's kind of fancy, so not not too too often. But it's, I mean, they have some really good food here. So the chef is amazing, and all of the menus he creates are just really nice. So I, it's a, it's like a little treat. Yeah, it's so, a, but you know, it's 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 a nice uh, environment. It's, it's yeah. nice and relaxed and kind of fancy, I will say, but you know, it's it's nice. Yeah. Good good thanks. good spot. Yeah, thanks for taking me here and yeah. being thoughtful like that. But here, here's your bread, sir, and, and, and madam and sir, here's your Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you. Thank you. So do you um I I you talked a little bit about your job. Um, do you enjoy it, or is it stepping oh, stone for the next thing? I, uh, with 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 <laughs> with labs, it's it's always kind of a stepping stone. One thing yeah. leads to another, leads to another. But uh, you know, it it helps when you work with um, people of the like mind. You know, everybody's on mm -hmm. the same page and trying to you know accomplish the same thing. So it it, yeah. it helps. So and and how is how's um school? How are the kids doing? Uh, good. This year I have um I, I decided to to go back and do some like Lake Victorian horror sort of stuff. So um right now they're reading um Dracula and then they'll read the picture of Dorian Gray, which is my favorite. But um, you know I'm partial to Dracula myself. Being, <laughs> being you know, honest. very interesting writing style and uh <laughs> Just yeah, so it's it's fun to, and I like to sort of let them read the book, and then we'll watch one of the movies. And Dracula is one of those that the adaptation is always off the mark. The Bram Stoker's Dracula that came out with the one with Keanu Reeves, yeah, and it's Winona pretty Reyes. close. But um, they had a romance between Mina and Dracula, and it's kind of weird. 
but it's good to get the adaptation and, you know, so they can see the differences and that sort of thing. Yeah. I, Sorry, I'm talking a lot. Oh, no, you're fine. It's <laughs> it's sir, madam, your your salads. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. Man, they're really on time with their stuff. Yeah, no, um, they're really fast here. They're great. <laughs> don't um, you don't have to. You don't have to apologize because if you're excited to talk about something, I think that's it's kind of cool to be excited about talking about stuff. So, you know. Yeah, it's just, you know, literature nerd sort of thing. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I respect it. <laughs> I'm a, I mean, I, I, I used to play video games in my parents' basement for a little bit when I went to school so what uh, kind of video games uh, i i already feel enough like a nerd i don't really want to like cement oh, it come on no you i said don't it. need the brand you have to tell my... me come on i okay I insert game title here because my brain is thinking of actual <laughs> games. It could just be I wow. I could, right. Yeah, I could say whoa, whoa, uh, yeah. World of world of world of elves, actually. Yeah, it's it's world whoa. of elves. Um, oh. Yeah, it's it, yep. That was okay. exactly the sound I was dreading. Yeah, that's, big time sink. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'll just be here, you know being the nerd out on a date. Well, I mean, it's kind of both of us. <laughs> Just different kinds of nerds. Different flavors, you know? That's true. Excuse me, madam, uh, sir, do you, did you guys uh, decide on what you want to eat for dinner? Uh, the a lobster? Sure. <laughs> Lo lobster, got it, got it. I'll get it right out for you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Did As you the his name? <laughs> I didn't. Um, have you eaten lobster? Because I have no idea how to eat it. <laughs> oh, I, I assume that they're going to give it like it's already like not a claw. Like it's probably a tail. And, got it. Uh, got it. Okay. Uh, sorry. Is that a stupid <laughs> <Don't>. thought? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, stupid thoughts make the world go round. So. Well, as I always say, you're allowed to be stupid if you're cute. So. Huh. You know, science and and then um, people in my profession really avoid the stupid. But um, <laughs> I'd say that maybe in this one instance, maybe being stupid would be kind of fun. We'll practice together. Works for me. Time passes, and out comes the nice lobster. Here you go, sir. Madam, your lobster. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. They gave us the claws. Okay, we're in uncharted territory okay, here. Okay. I have no idea what to do. Do you do you I, think we have to, like, pry it apart? I th there's a cracker, and I think that we crack it, and I think there's a twisting mechanism that we I was honestly going to use it to threaten the server to tell us how to eat the lobster. Is that not an option? If we're paying but... this much, we <laughs> should, they should do it for us, right? The right. server comes in, kind of whispers over Simon. By the way, you grab the tail and the meat, and you slice it open. Just, just rip it open. Just, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. You're not subtle, but thank you. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I'm not here. Uh, right. Got it. Yes. We can all see you, but you're not here. Got it. Look, look. It's okay. You're doing great, buddy. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I cracked it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, there's juices everywhere. Okay. 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 Um, well, this is gonna be fun. Is that? <laughs> is that wrong at to seeing ask? at seeing uh, Stacy covered in the juice, <laughs> he'll just like openly start like cracking to like make it as messy as possible. <laughs> like I don't see the problem. <laughs> I think this is fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sir, madam, are you okay? This is the server yeah, comes no, over. 
It's fine. Uh, we just could we get a couple more napkins? Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, I, I, maybe an extra dish for all the shells would be I, great. I got you. Do you want me to go ahead and take care of that for you? I'll, I'll take it to the bag and put it in boxes for you. That'd be great. That's Thank awesome. you. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. By the way, my name's Isaac. I don't know if you guys know this. Oh, this is... I got you know. I thought you said it at the beginning, and I thought it was something yeah, we, like that. Sorry. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> sorry about that. It's, it's fine. I it's pro Look, I'm super busy. I got like six tables in the back. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. So yeah, no, cool. I got it. Yeah. I got you guys. Don't worry. All right, you guys. You guys are adorable. I'm just gonna say that. Gonna... Oh. Thanks. Anyways. So it's going pretty well from my end, I guess. I mean, did the date. I um, did you want to go get ice cream or something after? Only if you tell me the correct best flavor of ice cream. Right now. Right now. Pressure's on. Oh, I don't know. Wait. It's a little intense. Mint chocolate chip. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. I thought you were gonna say like cookie crumble. No, yeah, mint mm. chocolate chip. Yeah, no, the mint with the cold and the chocolate creaminess. Very good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There's the place down the street. Okay. May as well. The server Maybe comes we back with some bag bags and goods and uh, places them <laughs> next to Simon's feet and uh, hands over the bill. And uh, Simon, when you open the bill, it says, good luck. And on the bottom, it says on the house. And the Did server walks away. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. And uh, Simon's still going to pull out the cash that he took out for the date. Mm -hmm. uh, and still put it in the little booklet thing. Just say, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. After you. Why, thank you. <laughs> and as, but as do the go ahead. goofy thing and like open the door and like dramatically bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thank you, sir. Oh, of course, madam. <laughs> awesome. And as you guys walk out, the scene fades to black and we are now back in the house where Simon is now fighting for his life as a walker is trying to bite him. Stacy, you have the shovel up against the walker's head. Uh, Gordon, do you do anything to help? So just to paint the scene a little bit, uh, there is Simon, there's like a shovel between, and then there is a, a walker. Correct. And the walker is desperately getting to Simon. Could I perhaps like, could I kind of run up grabbing the shovel, not like taking it away from anybody, but like pushing it in to the walker, maybe like uh, just trying to force the walker back so they can have some breathing room? Yes, you can. So go ahead and cl uh, roll a close combat for me. Well, you know what? I'll go ahead and push it. Even. You're going to push it. Okay. So add a stress die. <laughs> You're a success. Oh. <laughs> okay, zero successes. And and so, so uh, you desperately try to push the walker away from Simon, and it, it just becomes a really stressful moment. So, Lana, you're in the back. Uh, you're gonna add a stress die. Simon, add a stress die. Stacy, add a stress die. Jordan, add a stress die. And as you guys, got. wait, what? Yes, I'm add sorry. to the one that you already have. Yes. Everybody oh, stress yeah, I'm, I'm, stress I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. You're just I'm, adding a stress stressor to your to okay. your mark thing. Um, with my help action, uh, Simon doesn't Simon get a plus one dice S to the roll? Simon does get a plus one to the dice to the roll. Uh, he can re-roll if he wants. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll. Simon's thought is Stacy's close. I have to push this thing back. Okay. Uh, oh man, fuck. Okay. 
I'm gonna push. You're gonna push? So add a stress die to that? We're gonna paint the picture here. Stacy, you hold the shovel up against the wall. You're pushing desperately back. Ryan, you're also, or excuse me, Gordon, you're also pushing the, the, the walker back. Your guys are desperately trying to get this walker to get off of you. And as you are looking like you're successfully getting this walker off of uh, Simon, the walker then bites down and takes a piece of flesh off of Simon's arm. Fuck. Um, is it dead? Can I, like, is it yes. still up and it's doing? Still, okay. It's still up and doing stuff, so. Um, Simon is gonna fucking bull rush. The moment he feels the bite and feels the pain, Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to bull rush and take this thing down. Okay, describe that to me. Um, he is going to swing the sledgehammer as hard as he can and aim for the uh, cheek. Alright. So. Uh, Simon. As you slam the sledgehammer straight down onto the walker's head, the immense pain rushes through your body as you notice and scream off the top of your lungs because of the bite that you just now incurred. Um, Lana and Ryan, roll a medicine check for me. Remember from your past experiences that um, you have seen something that works with bites as long as it's not on the chest or your neck. Do I, do I know what works or do I know what Yes, you do know what or works. You gotta cut it off probably. You gotta cut it off, so describe it to me. I, I, am I, what am I, so I, am I cutting it off right now? You tell me what you want to do. You got to relay that message. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, oh, do I have like the hatchet out? Uh, I'm, Simon, uh, you know, just, well, is, the, is the zombie dead or is that still like a Zombie's dead. Zombie's uh, obliterated. There's guts all over you guys. I'm going to like run up to Simon, like, sw like, I'm not very strong, but I'll kind of like swirl him around. This is going to sound very rash. This is going to sound real fucked I know. Up. But I, I know. need you to, like, we're going to have to take your arm. Just, just, just keep, I need you to come to terms with that in this second. Just fucking do it. Just take it off. Well, does anybody have, like, a machete? Or... I have an egg. Okay. Hey. Roll strength. Are you gonna going to do it, to... or who's going to do it? Well, so with, with my medicine it. and everything, would I, like, go ahead and, like, make a tourniquet and stuff? To you actually could. Make sure you you got to describe the scene out. to me. All right, yeah, so I'll, like, take a belt. I'm wearing my nice alligator skin belt. I'll take it. I'll, like, wrap around the arm, cinch it really tight, um, and uh, maybe, like, roll back the clothing because he's, like, wearing a sweater. But, like, you know, we draw a line, like, with my, uh, my like, pen or something like that. But just aim, aim right here, like, make sure it's pretty healthy distance of the fight. One, one swoop, one swoop, and I'm gonna like pile my body on top of Simon so he doesn't move. Okay. Am I here? <laughs> uh, Simon is going to, with every ounce of willpower, turn away from where they are striking. I think Stacy will come in and just be like, it's okay, baby, look at me, look at me, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Or she's who's just gonna, crying. Who's going to do the hacking? I can do it. I'll be like, I Svetlana has chopped off limbs before. Okay. I can do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So, uh, as as Gordon's described before, uh, Simon, you are in immense pain. You're on the floor. You're basically almost screaming your head off. And, um... You, the tourniquet is working. Uh, Gordon has got you pinned down. Uh, Stacy, what are you doing? I am making him look at me, telling him it's gonna be okay, freaking out. Um, I just, I'm, I'm kind of the, the comfort and support of him to try and draw his attention away from what's going on and like 
also freaking out, but mostly just that. Okay. Lana, describe to me what are you, how you're going to do it. Okay. So I'm going to... Okay, right now we're going to do a countdown. Are you ready? Don't do a fucking countdown. Just take it's my okay, fucking arm the off. The countdown. So uh, she's going to go three and just do it with, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Swatch. All right. So as uh, <laughs> give me one second. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I have a question about the help stuff sure. because I was just looking at it. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's if you don't take any of your actions, you are technically helping, mm-hmm. um, which gives a plus one. D- is that happens before the roll, right? Or Correct. Before does that roll. happen after? Okay. Well, it happens before their roll. Okay. This is the way that I interpret oh, it. Yeah, so the two of us are helping. Would she get the extra two dice for that? She or can. Well, she's not rolling for it. We're going to assume she's successful. Oh, here. okay. So cool. uh, we're going to go ahead and she's going to swing. And when she swings down with that axe, the axe is not going to slice all the way through because it's brand new flesh. So the axe is going to come down and make a squish sound. And it's going to hit so hard. Simon, you are screaming in agony, in pain, because that is gonna, shooting through your entire arm. Okay. I'm going to take my tie and like shove it into his mouth. Okay. <laughs> He's 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 I'm fighting screaming down as, as hard as I can and trying not to scream, but I am. He is screaming in bloody murder, and as as uh, Lana is raising her axe again, you start hearing pounding on the door. So the door starts getting pounded on from the outside. Okay, and you start hearing sounds. Outside, as walkers are now pounding on your door as you are trying to save Simon. Simon is going to brace for impact again, and as he sees the axe come down again from Lana, he passes out. And Lana cleans right through the bone and tendons, and now Simon's arm is bleeding. What do you guys do? So tighten up the uh, the tourniquet. Try to like staunch all the bleeding that I can. Mm-hmm. Um, put pressure I, on it. I put pressure on it. Uh, so tough on it. Is it only from one door that they are like barging? Currently, only from one door. Is there a back door to this place? There is a back door. I'll. I'll My recommendation and- is you don't move. Okay. Why? I don't move. Then. Why? Why don't move? He's passed out. Who's carrying him? Spadalot is really strong. Yeah. I'm strong. Okay. I wasn't so much going to like leave as I was going to check to see if the coast was clear. If you okay. that was an option. That's good. That is uh, an option. I'll I'll go check the back door. Like if there's like a peephole or like a window just to see if like we're not like running out into a bunch of walkers. Okay. Perfect. Uh, as you do that, uh, Lana... Roll medicine for me and add two dice. Okay. Okay. So you have a success on that. So, uh, Lana, you have a flashback that's very quickly, but it kind of takes you back to uh, the moment that you were in prison and you were helping your sisters out. And um, during this time period, you also had a friend that you were in you were in the same cell with and you were trying to escape because this is during the time of the apocalypse and um, your friend also got bit Um, and you ended up taking off one of their limbs uh, to save their life and you remember and recall in this flashback cauterize the wound to close it up to make sure that he's able to survive and as you remember that you flash back and you pull out from your medicine um, some matches. Some matches. Matches. Okay. So we're in a house, yes. You're in a house. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to just cauterize it with a single match. That does Correct. not seem helpful. Is there no. a stove? There is a stove. Okay. okay. Is it a gas stove? Uh, you you check it, and it is a gas stove. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Can I find a frying pan? 
There is a frying pan, yes. Okay. So Svetlana is going to go to the gas stove and try and get that to ignite. Uh, is that going to be a problem? Can I just do that? Okay. So you go ahead and ignite the stove. And since this stove hasn't turned on in a long time, it takes a couple clicks for it to finally just... It, you hear click, 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 click. Poof, as the fire uh, then ignites. And you place the pan on top of the fire. Well, let's say it's all heated up. Already. Okay. And... Couple She's minutes pass by. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna block the door if we're waiting for that. Yep. The okay. door is definitely being banged on. Okay. So. Yeah. I'm gonna put. Out. Yeah. I'm gonna put stuff in front of the door so that the zombies don't get through the door. Perfect. Yeah. I'll do that as well. All right. Yeah. Great. Great. So I'm gonna come back with this heated frying pan. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm gonna cut, just put it straight on that stump. And okay. cauterize that one. Perfect. Simon, you're still passed out. At the moment that she brings that flying pan and makes contact with your stub now, you wake up. How are you doing? Got my tie in your mouth. <laughs> Simon. Are you back? Can you move? Okay. okay? It's Simon? He's here, he's not talking. Baby, it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna be just fine. I need you to stand up. Can you stand up for me, okay? Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help him up to his feet. All right, what, what do we do now? At this point, you guys are all covered in Simon's blood and the walker's blood. Uh, so you guys are all covered in blood and guts, and the floor is just slippery with all of the blood and stains. You see, like, just handprints and hand marks of you guys stumbling around the walls trying to get up, trying to help Simon out. So all of your fingerprints and stuff are all over the place. What do you guys decide to do? Should we? I think we should probably hoof it, right, friends? <laughs> Stacy, can you walk? Yeah. What? What? I'm sorry. For what? I'm sorry for all of it. Hey, you could be sorry Shh, later, right now. Please, just please, just shut up. I'm sorry. I love you. But you all need to go. They're not leaving you behind. You're you fine. You all need to go. Please. I am not leaving you behind. Stacy. How much have we been through? Okay? How many arguments? How many fucking apocalypse bullshit things have we been through? I shut her up by kissing her. Oh! <laughs> Gordon? Yeah? Is that gun loaded? Always? Would you like to trade for a sledgehammer? gonna be honest with you and he's, he's gonna take the gun and put his like not really because you're, you're gonna come with us bud like you can do this you can guys i have one fucking arm i'm not gonna be any use to you guys what? okay to... I was gonna be really mean, but like to be fair, you're not that useful anyways. But I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> well, we, we just, I mean, we just we took the top off of that one. You we? could. We, just, uh, sorry. we opened that door, didn't we? Uh, I'm gonna take out some painkillers and shove them into his mouth, kiss him, smack him on the cheek, and go, stop being stupid, get your feet moving, they still work, let's go. Okay. I'm not leaving you behind. <laughs> uh, roll an How empathy much check arm? for me, Stacy. <laughs> yeah. How much what? How much arm was taken? He's got it at the elbow. He's still got. Okay. He's still got his arm, just not the extremities. Uh, medicine? No, empathy. You're gonna be oh, doing um, an empathy roll, and I'm real let's good do leadership. 
I'm. It doesn't matter which one I roll. I'll get that much right now. All right, let's see. Oh, no. Oof. Ooh. Oof. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, so you did not succeed to this role. However, Simon's going to shut up and take the pills because his <laughs> love for you is deeper than anything else. And the threat level went from two to three now. So he's convinced now to go along with you guys. And you guys are going to go to what seems like uh, a storage facility. Facility. So you guys are going to get out of the house. You divert the walkers that are at the door because you guys are able to get through stealthily to this other uh, house. Once you get into the house, you guys... Um, notice that uh, it seems to be kind of lived in recently um, there seems to be furniture that is placed in specific spots um, you still hear walkers which is why the walkers are still going on in your ears uh, they're all over the place they're surrounding this area um, however as you guys are moving around in this space um, it is a two-story house, and you notice that the stove is on. What do you do? Um, so, 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 okay, 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 okay. It seems like there's some activity up there. I say, I think sticking together, great idea. Um, I think we get in there, and we, we try to take them by surprise. Maybe we can startle them, and then we can get some answers out of them. Uh, I mean, we're... I think I did, uh, you know, I think that'll work. If, if I can get him talking, I think I can, I can get it working. Quickly. Okay. So are you guys going to search? I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Are you individually searching or are you going all together? Think all together. together, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm back with Simon, though. We're in the back. Yeah. Okay. I have not left Stacy's side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Stacy and Simon are together, and uh, Gordon and Lana are together. As you guys are searching individually in each room, um, you are then jumped and hit from behind by, on the stem of your neck, you just feel this huge pain in the back of your neck and pass out. All of, them? All of us? All of us? You guys. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, as you guys are passed out now, uh, we are going to go to the next flashback, which is Simon. You have a flashback to last night, Simon. Or, excuse me, two nights ago, not last night, two nights ago. What would you be doing at the campsite normally on a just a regular old night? This is before you find out anything. What what would be Simon be doing right at this? Moment? I'd probably be helping people out. I mean, I've got basic medical gear. I'd probably be, you know, cleaning up some wounds, just like smaller things that people might have encountered when they're like out hunting or anything like that. Just trying to be like the quote unquote in town doctor. Okay, so you're the in-town doctor. Um, so you're wrapping up at the clinic at this time, and you're you're walking out. It's really late at night. You know, you kind of did your rounds and whatnot, and all of a sudden, um, you hear what seems like a loud bang in the direction of the garage. Uh, it sounds like two car doors, and you hear like skid marks, and you head in that direction. Um, and when you are walking, uh, you see the garage in the distance and you look to your left and you notice taillights and as they get smaller and smaller because it's going into the distance. Um, and you go ahead and close the gate and head towards the garage and you start hearing banging noise. What do you do? I'd probably grab the nearest weapon um, and 
move in quietly because it's just banging. I don't hear the sounds of like a walker or anything like that. Uh, you just hear banging at this time. You're not okay. close enough yet. Yeah, I'd say I'd pick up probably like a pipe or something like that, or maybe a wrench when I get into the garage and find the source of the banging and just keep keep the wrench held high. Okay. Uh, as you enter through the garage, um, there's what seems like a full moon out, and the light of the moon kind of shines through a window, and it's it's a garage just like, you know, basically like a warehouse almost um and you notice you know there's uh nothing seems to be out of place but as you move towards in more into the garage you notice a streak of blood that is basically dragged from one end into a closet where the banging is coming from I will immediately rush to open the closet. As you rush to open the closet, this happens. Okay. As you grab the walker, you notice a couple things about it. It's about a five foot ten person. It um, has green eyes, brown hair. It's got a t-shirt with a red mustache fellow on it. That seems to be a part of a video game. And he's wearing jeans and sneakers. And a screwdriver has been shoved through its heart. Is this Aaron? You look up at his eyes and you see his teeth snaring at you as your childhood friend from kindergarten has now looking straight at you. Trying to bite you. I. Oh, fucking shit. I let the adrenaline kick in. I wrestle the walker to the ground and I make it quick. A All quick right. bam! Right across the side of the face. So, just. What do you do with the Sinfro? I call for whoever's on watch. Uh, for, I just start screaming out at this point. You see a five foot five redhead come up to you. What's going on? What's, what's, what's going on? Aaron is... Aaron got bit. Got somebody bit. drove off with the car. Doesn't look bit to me. I examine. Um, I take a moment to gather myself. And I examine um, Aaron's body. Try to find the source. As you uh, find the source, you notice he didn't get bit. And he's been murdered. He got stabbed through the heart with a screwdriver. But he was a walker. He was a walker, yeah. But I bet you that screwdriver had walker blood on it. It's known uh, at this time, of this time, it was about five years into the apocalypse, that once you die, you turn no matter what. So, oh, so you don't even have to be. You don't have to, to have to walker? be bitten to turn into a walker. You can just die and come back. (sighs) 
Honey. Okay. Who's supposed to be on watch? Rebecca and, uh, her boyfriend. Who's that? Off. The bo the boyfriend, Matthew? Say it, Matthew? Was that that southern boy? That goody two good shoes uh, uh, actor? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I remember him. Yeah, the the pretty boy. Yeah, yeah. And where where are off. they? They drove off in the truck. Oh hell! I gotta go wake up Gordon. And as Melissa turns around, swiftly walking off, leaves you with your best friend at your feet. Brain bashed in now to the side. What do you do? Simon's just going to sit and stare for a while. Okay. And as he's staring for a while... You could hear what sounds like mumbling and, and yelling and a gunshot or two be coming from a door or from, excuse me, from a house not too far away. And the scene fades to black. As you guys are waking up, the last person to wake up is Simon. Uh, the first one to wake up is Stacy, Lana, and then Gordon. You guys notice that you're inside of a cage along with three other people. Uh, people you don't recognize uh, whatsoever. And uh, you're inside of what seems to be a warehouse. On the outside, on the outside you should be able to see just stone wall and just kind of like a warehouse so there's like steel bars and, and beams crossing all over the place. It's a very open warehouse, but you're inside of a cage. The cage does have a roof over it, so you can't climb it. Um, and when you survey around the cage, there's only seems to be one door in and out. Uh, there are two guards at the door, and you have no idea where you're at. Stacy. I'm here, I'm here. Where the fuck yeah. are we? Are you, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, there are other people in this cage, right? There are three other people, yes. Oh, hello, everyone. I am Gordon Jordan. Uh, could you perhaps maybe fill us in a little bit about what's happening here? I think we're all very much in the dark. Uh, well, shit's about to be real. I hope that you have your shitting pants on because these people don't fucking play around, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Mr. Suit Man, but this this is this is some crazy shit. All right. And me and, and and some other people here, we're we're from another community and we just got snatched up by these crazy lunatics. I don't know. They're fucking nuts, man. They're crazy. They're crazy. They come in every like so often and they just grab us and drag us some God knows where, and I, I don't know what's going on. Does, does anybody they grab ever come back? <laughs> uh, no. Good to know. Well, I think I think we should all take a deep breath. Have you ever tried breathing exercises? <laughs> uh, uh, breathing. This guy. Look at this guy. Yo, uh, uh, Peggy. 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 This guy wants us um, to breathe. We've been sitting here for two days without any food or water. Oh, well, that's the only thing you got is breath. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, funny guy. Um, question. Yes. Uh, I assume all our gear was taken. All your gear is taken, yes. Am I wearing a belt? You are... Yeah, you are wearing a belt, yes. Uh, while person is rambling... I'm going to see if I can't, you know, double over like I'm in pain, mm -hmm. but then start undoing my belt mm -hmm. and see if I can't loosen it completely and whisper to Stacy, if somebody comes in here to try to take one of us, strangle the fuck out of them. I, I, I think Svetlana's probably going to be a better idea for that, but yes. I'm just, then, then, said, I don't know. Whisper it to her. I, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm just going to come up and be in your conversation. Yeah, 
<laughs> Everyone's just crowding around. <laughs> it's okay, baby. You're okay. You're okay. So, Lana, he's going to give you his belt. And you can have... Get some As you guys are belt. whispering to one another, a shorter lady comes through the door. Uh, she is a brunette. About five foot two. Kind of struts like she's the boss. All right. Comes in and you expect a loud booming voice from this, you know, what seems to be five foot two girl. But she comes over to the cage and whispers, you guys, so nice to see you guys. Thank y'all for coming into our lovely abode. I hope you guys have a lovely stay, however long or short that may be. We definitely love company around here. Uh, you can definitely be a form of entertainment for us. We'd love to set everyone free. Do you want to be set free? As he looks to Gordon. I just wanted to talk to you real quick, if that's at all possible. You seem like a man of means and stature. And this As he puts one finger over your lips. You talk too much. You need to relax and enjoy the scenery. I'd like to try and manipulate him. Okay, go ahead, go for it. I'd like to, seeing his energy. Uh -huh. I almost like a like a chameleon. I'll like slouch a little bit. You know, yeah, I really do need to relax. You know, you're all right. There is ah, something fine. just. It's just very. You, you seem like a person that's really figured this place out, and I have been trying so hard oh, to live yes. a life that no longer exists. I definitely figure this place out, and you will see when you get set free. Could could you could you just talk to me for a bit, so it, maybe, maybe you could tell me more about yourself? Yeah. Ah, uh, we we are the wolves. We love to set people free. Our motto around here is to make sure that everybody gets liberated from all of society. I would, I would just love to be a part of that. That seems so interesting, that philosophy. Do you have any literature or uh, oh. perhaps anybody, a manager I could speak to? Oh, you're talking to the head honcho right now, honey. You don't need no negations. And she kind of looks you up and down, kind of looks at you like a piece of meat and licks her lips a little bit as she uh, continues to uh, talk to you as you try to persuade her. Go ahead and try to... Try to do a uh, persuasion. Uh, manipulation. This is the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Hey, some success is there. Nice, and nice. I think if I successfully manipulate her, I also get to relieve some stress. This is like the thing I like yes. to do. <laughs> yes. So you do, you do talk to her. And you do get to side with, so you get to side with her. She understands your, where you're coming from. So tell me a little bit, tell me a little bit of how you do that. How do you side with her? So I'm going to be like, ah, you know, I just, uh, from the old world, just trying to, try to be something that I, uh, is just, just no longer exists. Oh, there's, you know? no, there's no old world here. We don't believe in the old world, the old society. It's just... I, it's, it's horrible. It's horrendous. We are trying a new way I, to I, set I, everyone I, free. I would love to see this new way. Uh, I know you probably have got some great plans or whatever for us, but I just want you to know without any form of like or anything, just I, I admire you. I, I admire this. Yes, I think you do. And as as you're talking to her, she snaps her fingers and one of her henchmen comes in through the gates, opens up the gates and grabs one of the other three uh, and drags them away uh, and closes the gate behind her. Could, could I watch? Oh, you are going to. 
don't you worry, everybody here gets set free. And she turns around with a smile on her face. She kind of likes you. You know, thinks that you're a little sadistic like she is and uh, walks away as she drags one of the people away, kicking and screaming as uh, they are dragging them out of the um, the warehouse. And you just hear the doors slam. I'm going to, like, walk over to my people. It's like, so I think really messed up things are happening here. But I think, I think I have an in. I think I have an in. What do you mean? Like, you know, like an in. I know what that means, but what fucked up things are they doing? I, I mean, that guy, I, there was something about being set free a lot. And I feel like being set free is not, like, you don't lick your lips that much. Like when you're like letting a dog outside, you know what I'm saying? Like I think it's a weird thing. Like you get, you're pro- probably gonna get killed. But it, I, it looks I, a little pervy whenever she did that. that yeah, there was. Real. It was like honestly, every other word she was licking her lips, and I thought that was excessive. Um, but I think, you know, if I can schmooze a little bit more, maybe you know, there could be an opening there. Maybe a chance for us to actually like get, get out. As okay. as you guys are having this conversation. Uh, no, continue, continue, sorry. Yeah, so I think, I think, like, if I could just, you know, schmooze a little bit more, maybe I can, like, pretend to be on their side. You know, just, like, you know, make it seem real. Like, if, you know, they offer me to, like, switch sides or something like that, you know, throw a fit. Like, but just know that I'm not actually doing that. You know, I'm trying to open. So keep an eye out. You know what I'm saying? I... Okay, but like, also, I don't. Didn't she end that with everyone gets set free? No. Well, I mean, all I'm saying is that like maybe, maybe they asked me to join them. I'm a very likable person. I'll be the person on the inside. Also, if like they're trying to take us all out, maybe I can like distract her just long enough for us to do something. <laughs> I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't think they actually mean to set anybody free based on a chainsaw. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, that's, I think that's clear, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so plan A, you join them, and in three months, we get let go. Plan B, let's fucking kill everybody. We're just getting fuck out of here. Hey, hey, if I had my gun, that's awesome. That's great. I I am missing my Second Amendment rights right now. I'm on that side. What amendments? To what constitution are you talking about? Hey, America still exists. Like it or leave it, honey. <laughs> Don't ever call her honey again. Lady, whatever. Plan A, you schmooze them into letting us all go. Plan B, Svetlana fucking stabs them. <laughs> That's a good plan. I mean, do you have the? Do you have something to stab with? I do not. I have this belt. I cannot stab with belt. I can strangle. Hey. Cannot. Is there uh, anything around that maybe we could utilize inside of here? There is. You look around. There's not really anything inside the the cage. No. Do the guards... Uh, what are the guards armed with? They're armed with knives. Did they take mm. all of the stuff? or like, like All of your I stuff. You can see that? You can see your stuff like in the far corner of the warehouse. It's not even reachable. All right. I have, I have an idea here. So can you paint a picture for me like where the guards are? The, sure. How many there so are? So in, in the middle of the warehouse is the cage. The guards are about 15 feet forward, so it's not too far from the door. So they're like right in front of the door. So if you look straight, you have the doors. To the left of that is your is your stuff, all of your stuff, okay? But oh God, there's God. other stuff there too. Other stuff? Other stuff. How many guards? Two guards. Two guards. Hmm. I is there, are, like are they in like completely different positions? Or are they like right next to each other, like staring straight ahead? Like how how do they? They're looking at you. 
<laughs> or, but are they like they're separate? Blatantly they're just they're us. literally <laughs> just watching you guys. Do either of them have keys? Like that we can. See? You look at them and they don't have keys on them. No. I mean, like, pss, I'm gonna pick out one of the guards. Pss, buddy, buddy, come here. Mm. Come here, come here. Mm-mm. I mean, if you want to lose out on something pretty awesome, that's on you. But that's that, that's really on you. You're you're not gonna find this again. He looks at the other guard. And he's like, so they both walk over. So so so, come here. Come here. So, either you like champagne. You ever had champagne? <laughs> like, it's like wine. It's like wine with bubbles, you know? <laughs> this guy! Yo, this guy wants to give us champagne! <laughs> he looks at you with his knife out and licks the side of the knife. And goes. That's a really dirty knife. Uh, uh, like, uh, looks you straight in the eyes, and you notice that they have a W on his forehead, and that W is made with a like it's scarring over, like if they cut themselves to make the W. And uh, he just looks at you and says. You're going to be set free. There's no need to celebrate yet with that champagne. <laughs> you and your friends will be liberated. Just like your friend was liberated? What friend? Oh, well, we don't have idiot. friends here. <laughs> you sure? Just saw one uh, campsite not too far from here. Similar mark right on his forehead. Didn't look too happy when one of us shot him in the head. You lie. Oh, yeah, he's super dead. No, he did. Yeah, we made sure the brain fucking scattered across the ground. We poked mm. him with a stick, he did. Go yeah, if you check my bow, I have arrows that have his brain matter on him still. Simon, roll a close combat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Simon? Why, Simon? Because he, he's taunting. <laughs> uh, two hey. successes, one bad die. Ooh. So the ju- the guy comes in, leans in with those two successes, and he goes. So you killed him, and he grabs you by the by the shirt and pulls you in close so that your head hits the bar. <laughs> and he goes, don't worry, you'll be first. And then you, with your other arm, hit his arm off and set, he sets you free. <laughs> so I just sort of break the grapple? You just break that's the it. grapple, that's it. You know what, that's fine. I mean, at the end of the day... For sure, I'm gonna last longer than your friend did. Look, you son of a! And as he's about to say "bitch," the bitch walks in. <laughs> <laughs> well, speak all five of the foot devil. two, all five foot two walks in and comes in and says, "Stop that, you two! You don't need to worry about them. They're gonna get what they deserve." And they go ahead, and she's now coming in with four armed guards with her, along with the two, so there's now six of them, including her as seven, and grabs every single one of you and drags you all out to the center of a field where you see right here. And in that field, there's corn everywhere but you notice there is a big hole in the middle and in the middle are two walkers chained up to the sides of the walls they look like they've been pets and all you see are bloodied body parts on the bottom 
some half-eaten corpses, eyes gouged out, blood everywhere. And you recognize the t-shirt to one of the gentlemen that you just saw earlier in the cage with you down there. And she walks over to you and says, You see, everybody gets liberated here. You'll be set free here soon. Don't you worry. But you don't? That seems a little one-sided. Oh, don't you worry about me. I've been set free a long time ago. Don't worry. And as, as she pulls back, she commands the other two survivors that were in the gate to go down into the pit. And all you hear is screaming coming from the pit to get them out as they are being thrown in without any weapons. And then they get bit, torn to shreds. You see one of the arms of the survivors get torn clean off its shoulder. The other one gets gutted like a pig in half. It's like you ripped open the skin and the guts just came out and spooled blood all over the place. And then all of a sudden, you see one of their heads, eyes gouge out and fall to the ground as they suffer in pain. Now, what do you guys do? Do you guys have anything? I have, an, I have a slight idea. You have an idea? I That's have funny. an idea, kind of. I'd say. I mean, with with no items, no anything, all we have is our stats. So yeah. <laughs> I can I throw a rock really well. I, I guess. Yeah. I only have manipulation, and that's. Yeah, what there you like go. The Let's go. Okay. Svetlana can kill with our hands. Okay. That's true. That's true. I can play half patty cake. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like kind of like jokingly kind of like look over the one of the guards that was like laughing at me. I'm gonna be like almost in a whisper, but high enough for everybody to hear, especially the boss. Be like, you're right. You know, this is kind of lame. I, I wouldn't. I'm surprised that you you stuck around as long as you have. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know. You, Oh, you're shy. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Are we not supposed to, like, cr- openly critique this in front of your boss? I, I mean, I thought we were just, I thought we were buddies in there. You were going to have some of my champagne. Yeah, I heard that, too. I, you were, you two were real buddy-buddy there for a hot second. Yeah, and you said that, I don't know, you said that she licks her lips too much and that this has honestly gotten yeah. boring. You, you said that. All as you, as yeah. you are talking mid-sentence, he pulls out his knife and digs it a little bit into the back of your back to the small of your back so that the pointy end really starts poking at you. Can, can I... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to create some turmoil here, potentially, between this guard and the mm-hmm. boss. Yeah, sure. Is that something that I can... You can try. Do? You can potentially try, yeah. You gotta remember, they're all huddled around. So, you're within earshots of everybody. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, I'm mm-hmm. trying to, like, kind of play off the situation, like, where I'm, of course. Oh, like, loud whispering. Of course. No, you don't have to. I mean, buddy, 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 buddy. Like, you've known me a long time. You don't have to, like, pretend in front of everybody. It's fine. Like, I think you should be open. You were right. Like, shut I, up. You, you, shush. Listen, she, you, you're right. She is short. You could probably take her. You shush. You shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's okay. Like, you don't have to act tough. We bonded in there. And as, I think. as as he digs a little bit deeper and tells you, shut up. I got something for you guys. You need to play right. Play your cards right. Shut up. Uh, how close is the boss from the edge of the pit? The boss isn't go to the edge of the pit. She's, okay. she's in the back. Oh, damn it. So... We can't just kick her in. <laughs> no, you know, not that easily. Well, there goes my one idea. <laughs> <laughs> so as as you guys are arguing and, and Gordon is arguing, trying to manipulate one of the guardsmen, the Lana, you are close to the pit 
and the other guard alongside um alongside the I didn't even give her a name. Hold on. Uh, you called her the bitch earlier. Yes. Uh Daisy. So she's alongside Daisy. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the leader's name. And the leader goes in, whispers to the other guard, you know what to do. The guard grabs you and shoves you into the pit. Okay. Roll can a we close try to combat. catch her? You can. Okay. Uh, yeah, the I would be person, The person closest to her would be Stacy. Because Gordon's in the back talking. Oh, Where am I in relation to Stacy? You're behind oh, her. next to me. Okay. Um, cool. Close combat? Close combat. Okay. It's Lana. Lana goes close combat. You're doing close oh, combat. Oh, so Lana does close combat and... Then Stacy, you do helping. strength. Your strength. You're trying okay. to hold her. Okay. okay. Wait, Can so I... am I... Am I helping or am I... No, you're trying. You're trying to do a roll. You're trying to grab her. She's okay, going into she's the pit. Just trying not to fall. She is going to go into the pit, trying not to fall. Can I help Stacy in trying to grab with Svetlana your one good arm? Up? I mean, uh, listen. I gotta do something. <laughs> you hand. could. You could try. <laughs> a helping hand. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, so I close oh. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I will do now. Svetlana rolls. Okay. Oh. That one's cocked. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oof. Oof. Uh I'll push it. Okay. I don't want my girl going in there. Oh shit! Hey. Oh Ooh, shit! Oh, nice! <laughs> Okay, so add a stressor if you already done. I'm assuming yeah. you already did. Wait. All right, so Lana, you get pushed into this okay. pit, and like instinct, Stacy lunges towards her to grab her, and you guys end up catching Lana as she's about to enter the pit, and now she's hanging on the edge of this pit. Since you have five successes with that push roll, you are able to then pull her out of the pit and shit's about to get real. As you guys are hanging on and pulling her up, the daisy turns around and says, how dare you prevent her from getting her free? And comes over to Simon and says, Looks like you're already halfway there anyways. Might as well kick you in next. Grab Not Simon. without you, honey. And I'm going to grab her collar and try to pull her with me if she tries to push me. You, okay. I'm going to go ahead and say you successfully do that. And you both go over. So now both you and Daisy are in the pit with two walkers. As that is happening, the threat level around your location has raised to a three due to all of the noise the chainsaws were making earlier. So there are walkers now making their way into the compound that you're at. You notice around you in this compound, it's surrounded by walls, but there's a, tr a semi-truck that got blasted through a... Um, a fence line which now the walkers are slowly getting into one by one and as you are looking towards the semi one of the walkers as they're getting in gets caught on this in between the semi and the gate 
would be and you start seeing the skin peel off as it's sliding its way through the gate and uh, continues to get its skin completely ripped off to its bones now revealing flesh and teeth as it walks its way slowly towards you guys in the middle you'll notice that there is um, a fire pit and walkers are drawn to the fire so they are going directly to the fire first which is why you guys see smoke everywhere out here it's due to the fire that's being uh, brought across the entire location you start seeing that there are three buildings in this location and um, you notice that one of the guards that told Gordon to shut up is now heading back into the warehouse. What do you do? So there's still five guards here? Like There are five guards, yes. Or are they, like... How are they reacting to the zombies coming in? Is this they're, like a they're worried about or? their leader who's now in the pit. Seems... Like y'all should go help your leader. Uh, let's go get her. They're kind of stunned and don't know what to do. Come, come. I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace the role of leadership. The thing that Gordon loves. Come, men. Let's go save the leader. Okay. Do we have time to like run back to and get our weapons to like maybe throw Simon some weapons in the pit. Uh, if you try to make a break for it, uh, one of the guardsmen could could see you. So you want to try to do a stealth check. Sure. Okay. Two successes. Lana, you sneakily go behind everybody without being noticed and go after the guard that slipped away into the warehouse. Uh, so, Simon, we're back to you. You're in the pit with now uh, Daisy. And Stacy, what are you doing? Uh, how far down is the pit? It's about a seven foot drop. Seven foot drop? Yeah. Uh, it's is not a there very anybody deep hole. next to me? There are guards next to you, along with jo- uh, Gordon. Okay, I am going to attempt to uh, push one of them in there with uh, with them, and if he has anything on it, on him, like grab it off as or i guess um do, do, they all have just knives they all have knives yep okay um i'll yeah i mean i'll try to take one out and i'll try to okay. push him in there the two guardsmen are like looking huddled over really worried about their leader and gordon's oh, really yeah. trying to be the new leader now so yeah so they're they're looking in the the pit like, oh gosh, and she's just gonna come by and just like, just right, boot him right in the butt and just shove one of them in there. Uh, so hopefully he lands on his face. I'm gonna uh, try and like cover for that. you be like, oh, good initiative, man. Good initiative. You should help your leader, yes. <laughs> Look, you should all follow suit. You need to help your leader protect her. My God. <laughs> yes, so as, as one of the guys, hold on, I got the perfect sound for this. Wait for it. So LB, you you push this guy in, right? And you're going to here. Alright. He gets pushed in. Alright, and now he's he's being devoured by one of the walkers. So that actually helps out our boy Simon in the pit with Daisy, who is now looking at you like she's going to kick your ass. Because you pulled her into this pit with the other walker now in this pit with you. So what do you do? I wanna go for the knife that was on that guard. Okay. So go ahead and, uh, you know what? You successfully find the knife and you grab the knife. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, oh, that remaining walker, is it more focused on me or? He's chained up. So he can't get to you. He can't get to you. You're, you're close. You have to be close to the edge of the wall for him to touch you. Is Daisy visibly armed or no? Daisy's not armed because she was not expecting to be in this pit. Okay. But she is coming uh, at you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, 
uh, Simon uh, lost his fucking arm earlier, and he's still operating off of a little bit of adrenaline, so he is going to try to stab her okay. and run her into the walker okay. and then try to climb over both of them to try to get out of the pit. Okay, close combat. Go for it. I know. It's a lot of, a lot of shit no, that I just No, no. Close but... combat. You're fine. Oh. All right. So... You can push the roll if you want, but it's going to stress you out. How much stress can I take before I snap? Uh, is it is the bar full? Uh, it's a little over halfway full. Okay, so you're still good. I will push. Okay, go ahead and push the roll. Oh, my God. Ooh, and you messed up. So, here's what's going to happen. You're going to go ahead and grab that knife. You're going to shove it into the shoulder. So you were aiming for her heart, but you just, you, you lost an arm. You're still shaking from adrenaline because, like, you literally are working with one arm. So you grab that knife and you stab her shoulder instead of her heart. And now she's in pain. She grabs that knife out. And as she's about to stab you, the walker that was behind her is escapes from the chains as the walker lunges forward but the chains that were hooked to its back are ripped off of his back so he no longer has his back attached to the chain and all you see is his rip cage from behind as he lunges towards um lunges towards daisy and takes a bite off of her shoulder and where she got stabbed so daisy is now down uh what do you do I'm going to try and uh, maybe leap over Well, can, the, the walker that is attacking the guard, the one that's eating him. Yes. Is he like doubled over? He's doubled over. OK, I would like to uh, see if I can't run and plant a foot on his back and leap up enough to try to get onto the edge. OK, so here's what you're going to do. We're going to roll for a success here. We're not going to roll for it, but this is what we're going to happen. We're going to you're going to grab, you're going to grab a foot because you see limbs everywhere and that limb has a sharp edge to it. So you're going to grab that foot with the bone exposed, kill the walker that's hunched over eating the guard and climb on top of the walker out of the pit. So I just do that? You just do that. Now, what, okay. what's your reaction? Uh, is Stacy still by the other guard? Yes. Uh, I'm going to push the remaining guard into the pit. Okay. I'm going to say that Stacy's actually fighting with this guard. So she's okay. in close proximity, and they're kind of like pushing and shoving each other, kind of like fighting, but they're really close in, in combat with one another. So you can't just push the guard in without uh, taking her the, in there. If that's the case, then with my arm... I'm going to reach around and grab him by the neck and squeeze as hard as I can, at least to have his focus split. Okay. Between I'm going to say as you do this, I'm like, you are fucking do something like that again. I swear to Christ, I will bite your neck off. Not the time. Not the time. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So, Stacey, you go ahead and successfully stab this guard on the forehead, bringing him down. Yep. I stab him? Yep, you stab him. You grab his knife and... All right, so he's down. There's two two guards remaining, one inside the warehouse. Lana, what are you doing in the warehouse? I am... uh, So there's the one in the warehouse. There's one in the warehouse with you. Can I... I still have that belt that uh, Simon gave me. Can I try and, like, strangle him from behind so I can get our stuff and get out of there? You could. Or you could try to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. But Lana is a killer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're Trip gonna just you're just gonna strangle the guy? I'm just gonna strangle the guy and get her stuff. All get right. Stuff. Cool. So go ahead and 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 roll for close combat. Okay. Nice. Says you get you get a success on that. Go ahead and explain to me what you do. So I'm assuming he went in a little bit before so that yes. she's kind of doing a little crouch, mm-hmm. sneaking up. She gets the belt ready, puts it in a loop, and she kind of runs and does a spider monkey jump onto the back of his neck mm-hmm. and just pulls it tight and just 
So I, I have to kill him. I, mean, I kill him or knock him out. Either one, you know. It's very but black wolf widow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's down. he's just choking to death, yeah. basically. All right. Yeah. So she's as you like black widow your way onto this guy and choke him with your belt. He falls to the floor, and from the corner of the room you hear a gunshot come, and barely misses you. Uh, to the right of the wall, you turn around and you see this southern girl that you've been looking for, Rebecca. Rebecca, that's it. <laughs> Ren, what the fuck? My name's How do you Rebecca, not, not Rebecca. Rachel, bitch. What are you Rebecca? doing here? <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> what are you yeah. doing? What are you doing here? I was just fine without you. You guys didn't have to follow me. What the hell is wrong with y'all? But you took our stuff. No. No. I took what was mine. I was a part of that community, and they were worth the shit. You know, they, they kept on trying to tell us, Oh, this is for the community. No, fuck that shit. I left with my boyfriend, Matthew, and we left to make a life for ourselves, and now we have you assholes coming after us. Well, how did that work out for you? No, you know what? As she cocks her shotgun again, or rifle again, and gets ready to aim down the sight once more. What do you do? Uh, how far away from me? She's across the room. Across the room. Is there anything for me to like roll to hide behind? Like uh, there me? are the the there are the weapons and stuff that you guys have there. Right. My gun is there. That's gun right. There. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna go towards our stuff. Okay. And I guess find the shotgun. The- roll a range combat. Hey. hey! There we go. Nice success. So, explain to me how you grab this gun and shoot towards Rebecca. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> do a, a run and slide onto a, one knee and find that shotgun and pull it out and face her with it. So I'm crouched down, like on one knee with the shotgun. As you roll, slide, kind of, <laughs> you're really black widowing this thing, I, and you come in. Of my character. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes in. She aims down the scope of the gun. It's not a shotgun. It's actually an M16. Shoots the shoots towards Rebecca, and you nick her on the shoulder. <clears throat> And Rebecca disappears from this location as she knows a way out. So, what do you do next? Um, are the others in, like, if I call to them, will they hear me? No, you're you're pretty far. So I would like to see the way out, but I don't want to leave everybody. Okay, it's up to you. What do you want to do? Can I... Is the car there? <laughs> Yeah, I want to see if there's stuff, but I don't... Uh, I guess I'm going to follow her to see if I can okay. find a way out for the rest of us. All right. There's no immediate danger. Sure. So you follow Rebecca outside of the warehouse. Rebecca has sprinted. She is long gone. She knows this area pretty well, so she's nowhere to be found. But when you walk out of the warehouse, you start seeing the walkers coming through the... Um, through the gate and where the semi hit through the gate and you see as one of the walkers are coming through you kind of see a glimpse of a truck that looks familiar uh so what do you do i'm gonna go back and get our stuff and go get our my, my friends so we can all go to the truck sounds good so you go back inside you grab your items and you head towards the field now you see two guardsmen coming at Stacy and Gordon. What do you do? I still have that gun, right? You still have the gun, yep. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm going to shoot at one of them. Also, you know, try to okay. distract them. Range combat? Oof, you, messed you messed up pretty bad. So what you're going to do now is you're going to aim down that barrel. You aim as much as possible. I mean, you've been hitting your shots all night, so you're, like, perfectly confident rolling down. How do you mess up? Um, I'm going to say, because I was overly confident, I wasn't mm-hmm. looking at the ground. Okay. And I uh, either trip over a, either an already dead person or something in the ground, and I okay. shoot straight at the ground instead of shooting at the guards. 
perfect. So while you're running towards them and you're aiming down the barrel of the gun, you don't see the walker that's at your feet crawling because it's missing its legs. And you trip over the walker, and now the walker is climbing towards you uh, on top of you. So you hold that thought. Gordon, you have somebody coming at you with a knife. What are you doing? Anything I can. <laughs> buddy, 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 buddy. Hey, hey. <laughs> Stop. Leader's dead. Walkers to the gate. We're we're not going to come at you if 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 we can get away. That walker right behind you though will, um, and I'm going to try and like get him to like basically. He's not, he's look. completely ignoring you. He just wants to kill okay. you. Uh, I guess I will do close combat then. Okay, go ahead. Uh, try to punch him or something. Okay, he's got a knife. I mean, I don't have anything, so. All right, go for it. Ooh. Oof. Oh, so you succeed, but you mess up in the in the process. So what happens is he comes at you with a knife and you he comes at you with a stabbing motion. You end up grabbing his arm with the knife and you end up seeing this in the movies and didn't think this was going to actually work. So you kind of do a karate move and twist the knife around to have him basically use that force to stab himself in the gut. So he stabs himself in the gut. But while he was doing that, you also end up cutting your arm and you take one damage. All right. So, Stacy, Simon, you guys are in the clear and you see Lana trip over this walker and hear the gunshot barely missing you uh, because uh, she was not aiming very well. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to run up to the walker that's trying to grab at Svenlana. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stomp as hard as I can on its skull. Perfect. Go ahead and do close combat for me. Three successes. Nice. So here's what's going to happen. You got three successes. So remember that other guard that you guys kind of forgot about, and so did I? Uh, We're going to go ahead and have you look at the guard and he was literally coming at you with his knife but he was running full speed so Stacy and Simon both you see this guy and you trip him so he stumbles over himself and rolls into the pit where the walker is at and Daisy so you get rid of him and now you head over to the walker and describe exactly how you take care of the last enemy uh I'm going to take all of the adrenaline and all of the rage and all of everything that I've been experiencing and I'm going to channel it into my boot and I'm going to stomp so hard that it's like stomping on an egg. Like it's just a sickening crunch. So uh, would it sound like this? Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, yep, that one. Okay. Yep. That was Sounds- the one. All right, great. So you stab, you stomp right on his head, and as his head just explodes with brain matter everywhere. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, who those are watching and listening, uh, these guys are covered in their own blood and Simon's blood and other Walker blood. So they look beautiful. Uh, and that will be the last person of the night. Lana, do you tell the others that you saw Rebecca? I will tell the others that I saw Rebecca, and I also saw the, the truck over there. All right. Gotta go. We've got to go. Let's go. I don't give a shit about any of this anymore. Is there like a lot of walkers? Like an unreasonable Oh, there is a ton of walkers just pushing their way through. You are definitely all over the place with walkers. Now. I will say, Lana, you found the supplies that Rebecca and Matthew have both um, stolen from you guys, and you ended up finding a truck and a police car with a police radio in it. So, uh, what are you guys going to do? In the police car, you guys find a shotgun and some ammo lying around, along with a CB radio that you guys turn on. Gordon, you're going to go ahead uh, because you're kind of tired of seeing all of this. Uh, And you're going to speed off in the distance. Uh, But before you do that, uh, what do you say to the group? Oh, team, I think this was I think this was great. It's like blood is kind of like dripping down my arm. (laughs) We, we, we came out here for just to get our stuff back, but we got our stuff back and extra. Um, 
I think uh, this is a success. With Simon lost his arm. I mean, I guess. I'm not saying it's a complete success, but I think for all things considered, we're all alive. Gordon, I have nothing to say. I just wanted to say your name in that disapproving way. <laughs> oh, if if saying my name brings you any comfort, friend, you are so you can say it anytime you want. As I'm like putting the car into gear. Okay, perfect. So you guys are now all in the car. As you're driving by, Stacy, Simon, and Lana, you look out the window, and you see to a what seems to be a checkered. Um, plaid shirt. It's blue and white with some jeans and the t sh- and some sneakers. And you notice kind of a well-kept haircut looking man. He's about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11. Really nice build. Um, and he turns around and all you see is blood on his face and what seems to be expressionless eyes as he slowly walks away and you recognize that as Matthew. And I'm going to lean out the window and say, hey, Matthew, fuck you. (laughs) As you drive by. Right. And as as Matthew is now undead and turning around, he just follows the noise as they normally do. Uh, And Gordon, we're going to. We're going to get to you here right now. And as you're driving, you're kind of just reminiscing and thinking about times of the past and we're going to go into your final flashback of the night and it fades to black and you start hearing birds chirping and you hear uh, some water running it's like a beautiful sunny and windy day in Washington D.C. The cherry blossoms are blooming and we catch up to Gordon who's just finishing up his run around the Lincoln Memorial your cell phone rings. I pick it up and answer. It's the office calling. Hey, Senator! Jones is at it again. He says he doesn't want to vote yes on the bill. And, well, uh, there has been deals in place, but he doesn't agree with them. Well, you tell him that if he doesn't say yes on, on Proposition 18, then I'm going to have to come down to his office and school him at chess again. Uh, he's he's he only wants to back the bill if Michaels and Paul both say yes. He th- th- he doesn't agree with any of the things that are written in the bill. Max and Paul both say yes to my craps in the morning. They'll say yes to anything I want them to. <laughs> You're so funny, buddy. You're so funny, Gordon. I like you. Uh, you know we gotta we gotta play golf again soon. Of course, of course. You know if my schedule allows, but you keep my schedule. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna pencil that in for this afternoon, huh? Of course, of course. Yeah, you know, busy day at work, Senator, huh? Oh, always, always. Working, right. for, this, for, working for this great country of ours. Always. All right, Senator, we're going to go ahead and flash forward a couple of years. All right, so we're flash forwarding a couple of years. We have Gordon now uh, and his family are in an encampment. Uh, and we are... We see Gordon running towards the streets. There's mayhem everywhere. Body parts and zombies everywhere. Military everywhere. Gunfire just all over the place. And they, you hear a gentleman here scream, Senator Gordon, Senator Gordon, come on this way. Come this way, come this way. Bring your family, come on. Of course, of course. Come, 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 come. I'm gonna run right to that direction. Hurry up, hurry up. As, As you hear just, bombs in the background just going off you have napalm fires coming off in the background you hear just gunshots everywhere the zombies are brand new so you you really don't have a good understanding of what's going on but you start seeing one of them grab one of the people that are in front of you and your family and just take them down Um, gonna juke just like not even (laughs) juking not even caring He's, he's gonna go grab and all you hear is the groaning of the walker as as you run past him. And as you get closer, you see a helicopter. Senator, Senator, let's go inside. Come on, come inside, come on. Come, come. But there's only room run. for one more. There's only room for one more. Oh, that's me. I'm gonna jump in. <laughs> 
he's gonna jump in. So what are you what are you gonna do? Just jump in? Yeah, I just jump in. I don't even look behind me for my family anymore. It's like that sounds like my seat and then I'm going to jump inside. Alright, so as you jump into the helicopter, the helicopter is whirling, you hear the engines just whirl. <laughs> And you start hearing it take off. As the You'll get the next one! As the helicopter lifts As the helicopter lifts off of the ground, the camera pans to where your family and your friends were. And now all you see is just walkers swarming around them and engulf them. As that fades to black. The sacrifices we all must make for our country as I close the door. <laughs> so. I'm just gonna say, I do not feel bad about being mean to this character at all. <laughs> as we pan back to Gordon speeding off into the distance, he's got the same smile on his face as he's like. Yes. And. We get back to Lana, Simon, and Stacy. And the CB radio turns on, and you hear all you hear is static as you're driving down the road. And all of a sudden, you start hearing this. Hello? Hello? Um, Simon's gonna hear this Hello. and He's going to look to Stacy. He's exhausted. He has like nothing left. She's going to turn off the radio. <laughs> Radio's turned off. She's going to take his head and lay it on her shoulder and just start stroking his hair. I love you. I love you too, you idiot. I also love you guys. <laughs> and we love you I so love you all as well. <laughs> uh, you not so much. <laughs> as you guys drive, continue to drive to your encampment to Norfolk 911 camp. Was that was that the name of the camp? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the North Wolf Garage. The, the North Wolf, Wolf Garage. The North Wolf Garage. As you guys are pulling up, you guys get out uh, excited about, you know, the fact that you brought back stuff. But obviously, war has really taken you guys apart. You've been through a lot in the last couple of days. Um, and uh, all three of you head over to the location where Gordon would be with Melissa uh, to catch up with him and give Melissa the news. Uh, is there anything that you guys want to say before you head in? Very much would love a bed. Yeah, I think we're gonna... We're, you guys can tell them, right? I've got this. Okay, come on, let's go get you some we're going to need some more blood for you. You lost a little bit. Mm. I lost uh -huh. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Mm. You go take him to our tent, shack. Okay. So, Lana, uh, you're walking in. Uh, Gordon's already inside. And as you walk through the, the door, Lana, um, you... All right. Lana, as you walk through the door, uh, a scene holds before you. You look down at the carpet as blood starts curling towards your feet. And as the camera pans 
towards that pool of blood. Up, you see a hand. You see some legs. You see your hair, color red, on the ground. And as the camera pans up, you have a gentleman standing over this person. Knife in hand, blood dripping down from a knife that he's holding. And you recognize this person as Gordon. And it fades to black. That is the end of this episode.